Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Data here, and welcome back to our live franchise mode series here on NHL 24, our expansion franchise mode series with the San Francisco Starfleet, episode number 17, headed into the 2028 postseason here in year number five with the franchise. We are defending Stanley Cup champions, shields up because the whole league's going to be gunning for us, it's going to be an exciting one, so thank you for joining this afternoon, this evening now, make sure to jump ahead to about the five minute mark if you're watching after you've already gone live. Live. But if you're watching with us live right here, like Gen Z McKenzie, welcome to the stream. We'll just start welcoming everybody in while I take care of all the usual things. And we'll get started in just a couple of minutes. Thank you everyone for joining on this Saturday night stream. Usually we stream on, on Thursday evenings. So here we are. Uh, and Sean Avery's in here as well. It might be a bit of a different crowd for the Saturday night. You never know. Uh, Joe, welcome aboard. Dan, welcome. The different crowd here on Saturdays, huh? So, usually we're streaming every Thursday night. Milo, welcome at 7 p.m. Eastern. Sean's working at 8.30. Gotcha. All right. So, we will hopefully be, uh, you know, deep into the postseason by then. Shields are up. The whole league's going to be coming after us. We are defending Stanley Cup champions. Welcome, Joseph. After winning in our fourth season, just our fourth season in franchise history, now here we are into our fifth. Doggy, I'm waiting for this old chair to be le there. Hold on, can I squeak it a little? There you go. There it is. It is officially the retirement for my my faithful, faithful chair. The new one is arriving sometime before 10 o'clock, says Amazon. So within the next three hours, maybe on stream, we'll hear, I'll be able to hear the doorbell from here. We will be in the final hours of this chair. I'll talk a bit more about the chair, but it's the chair retirement uh, evening here. Let's try and win the cup for it. It's been a loyal and faithful soldier. Let's get it one last Stanley Cup. This, this chair has seen a lot of victories. A lot of Stanley Cup victories. <laughs> That's it, Joseph. So I'll just start taking care of the things I got to get done. Thank you everyone for joining. We'll be starting at the five minute mark of the video. So at 7.05, we'll get started, which is going to be in about three minutes from now. Two and a half, three minutes. Uh, yeah, maybe a building. I don't know. How hard is this going to be to build? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. And you know what? Chairs cost a lot. Is that just part of me becoming an adult? Just like I never bought, like I bought a lot of things, a lot of adult things. Gas, uh, I don't know, groceries. I've bought those things. But like a chair? Like, <laughs> like I, never, I never had to really buy a chair. It costs a lot, man. I got the house myself tonight, Starfleet, on the big screen, a newly opened bottle of wine. Things looking good for Big Dan. Oh my goodness. Okay, Dan. I see you. Oh, if you don't want to share a picture in the Discord server if you have a second. Incredible. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Hope you enjoy, my friend. Let's try and get a nice long stream for you this evening. Uh, just the last couple things I got to do here. Uh, almost ready. It's an exciting one. Couch and love seat combo. That's coming soon. Well, you know what? I gotta start. I gotta start thinking about uh, furnishing the house that I'll eventually get with my fiance. So it's gonna. Those you know, a chair is just the beginning of my worries. It's <laughs> just on the. I'm just at the beginning of a, a of a big um, spending expenditure. I'm gonna have to <laughs> undergo. Uh, I think that's about it. Episode seventeen. Let's see, acting a bunch of forwards and cheaper... Yes, the Avalanche had a great trade deadline. We'll get started in a minute and a half from now, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just send out the tweet, and then we'll get started for the year number five postseason. A reminder of our lineup for you, if you're just joining us here in the fifth season of our expansion franchise mode series. The rule of this series is that you can't have more than one nationality on a line. So that's what makes the challenge. Can't have a Canadian and a Canadian. Can't have an American and an American. That's what makes it tough. We are live with the year number five postseason... In 2028, with our expansion, San Francisco Starfleet Squad. There we go. Uh, Cam, I've I've haven't really had to get anything that expensive yet. So, anyways, I'm looking for a house. Yeah, I I I'm in that same boat right now. It is uh, it's really something. I'll tell you that. Uh, let's see. We'll get started in about 45 seconds. Join us as we look to win back to back cups. Oh, Casual call for McIntyre for the captaincies next season. I know, I know, I hear you. <clears throat> With maybe Pesci's gone next year, that could be something. Win back to back cups. Shields up. All right. That's fine enough for a tweet. 
Okay, I'm gonna start in about 10 seconds. Alright, I made it just under the wire here. I made it under the wire. Thank you. Oh, there's the squeaks. There he is. There he is. There he is. Classic. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Year number five postseason. Uh, into the 2028 postseason with the San Francisco Starfleet squad. Uh, it's not going to be the, the dollar amount necessarily here, doggy. It's just going to be the, uh, each donation is going to go into the raffle. Grant, finally a chance to watch this with no homework stress. Perfect, Grant. Let's go. We can have, a, hopefully, a deep postseason run here. Go Starfleet. Hobbs is saying, I'll probably be heading out shortly, but plan to be back when I get home, so hopefully we can go deep. Yes. And we'll see what this, the chair can get us. A couple of things just to note. Number one, this is the chair retirement stream, ladies and gentlemen. I've had the exact same type of chair for four years since I started doing, I used to sit on the couch for NHL 18 and 19, NHL 20 I started sitting on this chair. I've, over the last four years, actually the channel anniversary I think is like next week. Over the last four years, I've gone through three of these exact same folding chairs. This one in particular for the last two years, I think. And now I said, it's all, we had three of them, I've gone through three of them. It's just the hours and hours that I sit on it. I'm not a heavy guy either. Uh, if we've spoken, Spoke in the Discord server, I remember Mark came to see me, you're trying to guess my height and weight and all that as if I'm uh, a specimen. But I'm not a heavy guy, and this chair has, uh, you know, it's, it's served faithfully. But it's time to get a new one, it's arriving tonight. Next time that I stream or record will be in the new chair, so we say thank you to the folding chair. Let's try and get it one last Stanley Cup. On top of that, new little system I'm trying to do here. On top of created players being given to players who win in our fantasy hockey leagues on Yahoo in the Discord server, I'm also going to be giving created players to a player who wins out of a tirage, like a, a bal, um, just like pulling a, a name out of a hat. Every donation you make, what, like if someone makes like you know twenty, I don't know, fifty dollar donation, like I think that's like an almost like an automatic here. But for every donation people make, two dollars, five dollars, whatever it is, it's going to be going into the into a you know uh, all the names will go into a list, and I'll put it into a, a name randomizer, and maybe uh, you know three, five, eight people get a player depending on how many donations were made. So every donation you make is going to be a a ballot into that, and you get two. Um, ballots, I guess you could say, for donations that are made with the PayPal link, and the link is in the description for that, as I do get to keep more of it than through YouTube. I know YouTube could be easier, so if it's too much of an inconvenience, don't bother doing it, but I do get to keep more of the percentage if it is through the PayPal link, link in the description. So just to let you know, that's how we're going to be doing things moving forward until we end the Canucks series and make new players, so I still could be a few more months. So let's do it. So picking up from where we left off in the last one, ladies and gentlemen, it was that stream that ended like six different times because of the electricity. What well, probably the first time it's ever happened, I think, where it's been that many times. So we finally, I, I scraped it all together and put it into one episode that's uploaded now on as uploads instead of a live stream. We had a great season here in San Francisco. We made a late push as well. Um, hey, don't worry about it, RJ. Your viewership is donation enough. I'm just talking about the people who want to go above and beyond for helping to buy the chair, the microphone, MLB The Show 24, NHL 25, etc. Your viewership and your time is donation enough. So we ended up finishing third in the NHL after having a bit of a rough first start of the first half of the season. Ending, of course, the points looking so different because wins are worth three, overtime losses, shot losses were two and one respectively. <laughs> exactly, Myla. We went 48, 26, and eight in the end, which put us third in the NHL and first in our division. Our power play of 23.4% was third best in the NHL, and our opponent kill of 84.1 was eighth best in the NHL. So it was a pretty solid season in the end. But that was because of a great second half resurgence from uh, Elias Lindholm. What about donations greater than five is one entry? Five to nine is... Enter that's great. 30 plus. That's, a, that's a good idea, Hobbsy. So donations of five plus is... Uh, sorry, le five or less is one entry. Five to 9.99 is two entries. 10 to 29.99 is three entries. 30 plus is an automatic player. And whatever that amount is, if you do it through the PayPal, it's double. So in theory, you could get six entries if you donate 15 through the PayPal. We'll say that type of thing. Gotcha. Uh, get it. Ah, that's classic RJ. Classic EA. We'll go with that, Hobbsy. I'll make some sort of official list and put it in the description and stuff so everybody knows in the future. I'm just kind of talking through it right now. So at least Lindholm, 100 points in 82 games. Our captain led us through. That was a new career high for him as well. Uh, yeah, Myla, that would be automatic for you, especially for, for Myla. <laughs> 100 points in 82 games, full season. Send me the link. It's in the description here, uh, Sean. I'll put it in the, in the, um, 
It's paypal.me slash data782. There you go. Okay, so Elias Lindholm, career year from him, incredible stuff. Now, in second in team scoring, it was Sidney Crosby, who, yes, we've been talking about Sidney Crosby in the real world. Would he ever leave Pittsburgh? Obviously, we don't think that's going to happen right now and all that. But Sidney Crosby was on the trade block from the Pittsburgh Penguins in what is likely his final season. 40 years old, the Penguins were a losing team. The storyline made sense much more at this point in the world. Uh, would it be easier to have the players featured in NHL 25? Probably not. No, I could do it for the next series in NHL 24. No problem. Oh, no, no. If the freeze, if the, if the stream got frozen, I'd be uh, very upset. We picked up Sidney Crosby. He scored 19 points in 19 games, 10 goals, plus 5. Sid the Kid wants one last shot at a cup, and he's going to do it here with Starfleet, getting the rank of honorary captain. Artemi Panarin, who signed, what, it was a two-year deal, right? Yeah, this is the second year. Or is, uh, yeah, it's the second year of the two-year deal he signed in free agency. Last year, 82 points in 82 games, and he got his Stanley Cup. This year, 92 points in 82 games, and he's looking to get another Stanley Cup with us. So if he get two cups in two years, maybe he wants to stick around and try to get a third. You never know. Uh, Kevin Fiala, we picked him up last season at the halfway point, scored 36 points. This year, point per game, excuse me, 82 and 82 as a plus 22. Really happy to see that from Kevin Fiala. He was incredible. Avery McIntyre, slight step back in the goal scoring from 56 to 48. Um, PayPal links can double the entry numbers I suggested too. That's, yes, that's exactly what I said. You're exactly correct, Hobbsy. So a bit step back on the goal scoring, but uh, McIntyre continues to get a little bit better each season in his point totals. 72 to 78, now to 79 points. 79 point season for the 22-year-old Professor McIntyre. Cole Perfetti in his second season with us. 78 last year, 72 this year. Uh, ice time is even a little bit higher, but I guess maybe a bit more responsibility. Cole Perfetti still did well enough for me. Trevor Moore did take a bit of a step back. 59 points. Well, actually, no. It was the same as last season, but he took a step back from his postseason performance because he was coming off 31 points in 24 games, put up another 59-point season. That's okay with me. Sam Girard, he really picked it up in the second half. I got to give it to him, and he picked up the numbers a little bit, 59 points on the season, pretty much the same pace as last year, plus 26. He's going to have to have a good show in the postseason. Uh, after that, we have Fabian Lysel. He continues to get better. We were talking about Lysel. Do we sell on Lysel? What are we going to do? But he continues to get better. 37, 47, 52. Link's right and profile hasn't been turned off. Really? Hold on. Let me just see that, uh, Sean. Let me see. PayPal.me. I see it. When I put in the link, I see it. I see the link, uh, Sean. So Fabian Lysel continues to get better. His ice time continues to increase. His point totals increases. His plus minus is increasing. Actually, this year he was playing a little bit less even. But Lysel came through with 52 points despite being an 82 overall. So good to see from him. Joe Pavelski was another at the absolute stroke of 3 p.m. We just got Joe Pavelski at the trade deadline. 43 years old from the LA Kings. Another team that wanted to sell as a losing squad. Oh, that's why. 11 points in 19 games. A plus 7 from big Joe Pavelski playing on the third line so we have two big veterans that we picked up on trade deadline day in the final hour both those two in the final hour Crosby and Pavelski both coming to Starfleet and both doing great things with the team we had a great end of the season Mikhail Guliev had a good year 46 points that's you know in his sophomore season very happy to see he's continuing to develop well for an 81 year old uh, 81 overall 46 points very impressive Cole Hudson's rookie season wasn't that great, 35 points and a negative 11. He's up to an 86 overall, but we were hoping that he was going to be able to be the power play quarterback. He was playing big minutes, 17-41 for the rookie, but we know he'll be better. Just a tough rookie season from Cole Hudson. Not the best opportunities, I guess. Otto Stenberg ended up being more of a third liner this year. He was playing in his rookie season as well, 31 points in 82 games. Very good. Igor Afanasev, 29 points from him. Nice improvement from last season. He's also pretty much improved to a third line mostly third line minutes towards the end of the year as well Jalen Ramirez 26 points plus 23 I'm Sean that oh that's got it. perfect there you go perfect from Sean yes hi I'm Sean with the 1619 thank you very much Mr. Sean Avery you have the you already have the role in the discord server right uh Sean for uh let me know if you do or don't. I, I think you don't. I think you do. I'm Sean Avery. I'm pretty sure you have it, right? Yes. Okay, good. Made perfect. Thank you for that donation. Very, very much appreciated. And I'll, I'll double check. That's what? I think that's 
three, so I'll be six entries into a created player on top of from playing in the fantasy leagues and all that. Thank you. I'll keep track of all of those with a, a separate document that I'll go back over um, after at the end of every stream. Sorry to derail there for a second. Jalen Ramirez, 84 overall. He had his first full season. Last year, we sent him down after 46 games or so. He was a negative 11 with 8 points. But this year, 26 points, a plus 23. Very happy to see good improvement from Jalen Ramirez, who was a good value pick. He was a second round guy in 2024. Very happy to see him making full-time top four minutes. Owen Beck, Bizu Bizu. He's been more that fourth line role. Not sure if he has a much of a future on the team aside from being fourth line center. He's a 24 year old now, still top six potential. Potential, but 80 overall at 24, you're pretty much done. Brett Pesci, 20 points and a plus 27 from the veteran, the original Starfleet member. One of our only original members still here. Not, well, not one of the only, but there's not too many. Not too many. Oliver Kapanen, 17 points in 64 games. Alex Romanov, 14 and 76, one of the original Starfleet members. Drew Doughty in 7th defenseman role, 6 points in 16 games. Luke Cunnan, 6 and 12. And then the goaltending. When it came to the goaltending, Sebastian Kosa continued to be our starter. Did he play two seasons ago a little bit? I guess, well, but that last season he played 46 games, correct? Uh, apparently Phil Kessel didn't want to play Abbotsford games and work his way up to the big club. So that's, it's too bad. I really thought Phil Kessel would have gotten his contract. So Sebastian Kosa and, and Anton Forsberg was our tandem. Forsberg was not cutting it. We went out to the Blue Jackets. They had Jet Greaves playing in the AHL. We picked him up and he went 8-3 and three with a 930 save percentage and 2.09 goals against average. Yes, Kosa won 39 games, but he had a sub-900 save percentage and close to 3 and a third goals against per game. So we're thinking ride the hot hand and go with Jet Greaves here in the playoffs. It wouldn't be the first time we turned to the backup. The 81 over the 85. So we'll see what happens there. So there's a quick recap. I mean, it's been about a week and a half since we had our last stream. So there is the quick recap on the San Francisco Starfleet. As, that's true because we have to push everything because the trade deadline, etc., etc. So great season in year number five. We have not won a President's Trophy yet, but through our five seasons now, let's see the, the win totals. 43, 43, 48, 44, 48. So we tied our most wins in franchise history. And here in the postseason, we will be we will, excuse me, be facing the New York Islanders, our biggest rival in this series so far. As two years ago, we lost against them in the Stanley Cup final. And last year, we swept them in the semifinal to go to and win the Stanley Cup ourselves. So we faced them twice in either the semifinal or the final over the last couple seasons. Yeah, goaltending, always a consistent problem in EA land here. Do we have any major prospects in the system? Yes, we do. We have our AHL starter with high elite potential who's going to be coming up next season. We, we, we would hopefully think. Um, here we go again. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So here we see that we got to wait for uh, the wildcard series already happened. Uh, and as the three seed, we're playing the 14 seed in the Islanders. So there you go. Let's get a quick recap on that Islanders squad. Uh, when we go and view their lines, we've seen them a lot the last couple seasons. We've made it to, two, you know, back-to-back -back Stanley Cup finals. We've won the Stanley Cup last year. We want to go for back-to-back -back cups. We also want three Stanley Cup final appearances in a row. So looking at the New York Islanders here, we see, <laughs> of course, Data 72. Every time I see him, I just have tears of joy. Data 782 Hall of Famer and beloved son, Ely Tolvanen. 87 overall is, uh, he's on the first line left wing there. Uh, Bo Horvat, Bo Top 50 is the first line centerman and Oliver Wallstrom's on the right wing. Sharon Govich, former Starfleet officer Christian Dvorak and Kasperi Kapanen on the second line. Engvall, Shaw, Appleton on the third. Fost, Pitlick, and Lee on the fourth. Defense is Pelik and Dobson, Pollock and Matheson, Kolyachanok, and Mayfield. Solid numbers here. Dobson, 90 overall, who scored 59 points on the season. Uh, and goaltending, it is Ilya Sorokin, backed up by the player we traded away this season, Anton Forsberg. Are Kasperi and Oliver Kapanen related? Good question. I'm not sure if they are. Uh, Forsberg went 4-7-3 with the Islanders since we traded him. He had one shutout, 8.98 save percentage, 3.35 goals against average. Pretty similar to what he did with us. But we know what he did for us in the postseason last year, Anton Forsberg. He was a major reason behind our Stanley Cup victory. So there it is here in uh, New York. The last couple of years that we saw Ilya Sorokin, he had, yeah, he had incredible numbers both, both postseasons. But we found a way to get through him each time. Hopefully we can do it again. Regular season numbers, yeah, 922 save percentage. Eight shutouts from Ilya Sorokin this year. Oh my goodness, it's not going to be easy to get through the Islanders. Ingram, oh, and Barzal's injured. I forgot to say about that. Matthew Barzal injured. That's a big blow to the Islanders. I believe, if I remember correctly, he's out for round one. 
I'll check out the injury report on Matt Barzal again. Oops, NHL. And then it was Barzal out until May 5th. It's April 18th. April 19th is game one. So you'd think he's probably out for the entirety of round number one. So yeah, we'll definitely keep that in mind. Due date, that's it. Uh, and by the way, just to show you the AHL goalie for that question there from Myla. Here's the lineup again. If we just swap to the AHL, of course, we have players growing like Hakila, Hellenius. Hellenius, we actually, uh, don't forget, we sent him down. He played 63 games this year, 21 points, negative six. Just wasn't working out. We sent him down uh, 21 points in 16 games in the AHL since we did that. So Hellenius is going to be back in the NHL next season, hopefully. Uh, for goaltending, it is Juha Mikola, who's now up to an 80 overall with high elite potential. 39 wins, seven shutouts in the AHL this year. Wow. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Mikola is going to be hopefully in uh, our NHL system next year. Does that mean Kosa or Greaves will be out? That's the big question. Kosa signed for one more year. Greaves going to be an expiring UFA, I believe. So here's the lineup. Cunning, Dowdy, Kapanen as the healthy scratches at the moment. Here's our lineup. We're going to roll with the exact same lineup that got us here. But it will, it will be curious to see what kind of changes will be made. Maybe Crosby and Pavelski and or Pavelski move up with their poise and their experience. Crosby with the 93 poise, 98 poise from Pavelski. Um, yeah, Alex Turcotte, poor guy. Poor guy. We have him in the AHL here with top nine potential. Former fifth overall pick of 2019. Mikola. Yeah, that'll be funny. All right, so just last thing, we'll just quickly look at the comments from the last episode. We were saying, which goalie do we roll with in uh, game one of the first round? Andrew saying, ride the hot hand with Greaves. And Gen Z saying, Greaves should be the starter in the playoffs because Kosa has been consistently horrible throughout the season and Greaves has played amazingly in his starts. Now, as we know, the postseason is a different beast, but I think we will go into the postseason with Greaves as our starter, but that could change very quickly. We know that all too well. Things could change very quickly. Five points in three games from Hellenius in the AHL postseason. Love it. So we'll go ahead and put Greaves as our starter for game number one. Sidney Crosby looking for one last cup at 40 years old. Joe Pavelski looking for one last cup at 43 in net. It was, it's more not just the stats, Sean Avery. It's also the stats down the stretch. Down the stretch towards the end of the year, Greaves not only went 8-3 and three on the season, he went 8-3 and three in 13 games out of the last like 20 or so. And Kosa wasn't looking so hot. So could it be that we go straight back to Kosa? Absolutely. But I think we ride the hot hand for game one. And we turn to Kosa in game two, game three. Who knows? But I think Greaves gets game one for the hot hand. We want to be able to find the ones who simulate well. We did a lot of slow simming and he was doing well in the slow sim. So of course our core is looking for another cup. McIntyre, Moore, Lindholm, Fiala, all those guys. Defense, Romanov, Gerard, Pesci. They want another cup. But last, some other players coming in and they want their first with Starfleet and one last cup in their careers. Crosby, Pavelski, uh, Hudson here in his rookie season. So we'll definitely try to do it for a lot of different reasons. And of course for the chair, chair retirement night. Let's do it. Uh, yeah, for sure. Greaves gets a shout out for sure, but we won't jinx it just yet. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you haven't already to give us some good luck. Uh, Starfleet won in spite of Costa's bad performance. That's another way to see it. Leave a like for good luck if you haven't already. Leave your predictions for this first round. Let's get started at Enterprise Arena in San Francisco. Game one, round one, year five. R reigning, defending Stanley Cup champions. Shields up. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. First period, and it is 0-0 after 20. Second period now, 4-0, Starfleet, let's go! Sidney Crosby knows this Islanders team very well. He knows this team very well from Metropolitan Division. Power play goal from Sid to open it up. Romanov scores against his old team. We got him from the Islanders in the expansion draft. Fabian Lysel says, don't even think about selling me. And then Sidney Crosby says, hey, let me just throw in another for good measure. 4-0 Starfleet after 40. Shots 28-18. to Nice four-goal cushion. Now, how can we add to it? Slash, how can Greaves look towards this third period? Like, six minutes of power play to start the period. But then as soon as it's over, Bo, Bo, uh, Bo Horvat scores to break the shutout. 4-1. But then Cole Hudson gets his first career postseason goal. Quickly recovering the four-goal lead. Or restoring the four-goal lead, I should say. Shots are almost double in our favor at one point there. Now 42-27. to And they end just like that. Shots, 42-27. And we win game one by a score of 5-1. to one. Sidney Crosby, two goals and an assist. I hate that Crosby, Ovechkin, Malkin are just 
uh, cheats sometimes. People just acquire them to simulate well. No, the storyline lined up, and it's a benefit that on top of it, we get the good simulation, but the storyline lined up, let's get Sidney Crosby another cup. I remember we got him a cup with the... Um, didn't we acquire Hudson from the Islanders? No, I think you're, Cole Hudson is with the Islanders in the Vancouver series. I was just thinking that, Cam, but we drafted Cole Hudson. Jet Greaves, 26 saves for second star honors, and Romanov with a goal, which ended up being the game winner. But two goals and assist for Sidney Crosby, 40-year-old Sid the Adult. 5-1 win here in game number one. Great way to start things off. Mikola swollen knee in the AHL. Pfft, tough. Swollen knee. So Emanen will be starter here. And who's going to come in? Meech. Good old Meech. Meep. We're going back to Meech. Uh, he got a... Topi Emanen got a shutout. Okay, so we'll keep Topi Emanen in there. Uh, and the AHL, there you go. He's got nothing shutout. Wow. Just too swole. Classic. All right. I just want to quickly see on Crosby. When's the last time he was in the postseason? Sidney Crosby. Great way to, to start off the postseason from him. In only 1341 of ice time. Yeah, but I don't know about starting Meech. That guy just got a... Even then, just got a shutout. I don't think you can go to the guy who's a healthy scratch when the guy who just got a shutout. Uh, Crosby. Postseason. He was there last year, so he hasn't made it out of the first round since at least 2025. So at least three years, yeah. Um, then he went on a deep run in 2024. I don't know if they won the cup or what. Big Meech. Yes, sir. Uh, I remember just finished watching the Shore lead up, so that was a crazy run to the final. This team really has come a long way. Well said. Warmaster, thanks for joining us. Glad you could join us. Um, but yeah, we got Crosby the Cup. I remember because I went back for the Data 782 Hall of Fame. Um, and I was getting the stats on Kale McCarr. It says he got a shutout, though. It says he got a shutout, didn't it? He got injured in warm-ups, I guess. And I saw Sidney Crosby. We got a, we got Sidney Crosby a cup and a con Smythe when he was like 40, I think. Or late 30s with the Anaheim Ducks franchise. Even in the, it says shutout. It says he got a shutout. And lastly, that's last year's stats? Uh, nope. It says he got a shutout. But he only played 38 minutes. Hold on, now I see it. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, he played 38 minutes, but he got a shutout. That's odd. Um, yes, we will do that. Nicola. <laughs> okay, so sorry for the, the sidebar there. Back to uh, the NHL. All right, game two in San Francisco with a big 5-1 win in game one. Let's run it back in game number two. Ooh, I hope Greaves is still in there. I forgot if auto goalie rotate is turned on. Uh, yeah, not like a 6 stage shot, but true. First period, 2-0, and it's Kosa! Ah, oh, I've got to turn off auto goalie rotate. How is this guy so bad? How are you so bad? Two goals on 14 shots in the first period. Oh my goodness. Second period, 3-0. Three, three goals on 29 shots. But it's not helping either that we're doing nothing for him. No goals on 17 shots on our end. Ah, uh, Kosa, you got, a cha you got a lucky game by mistake. Four goals on 32 shots now. 4 nothing Islanders. But the amount of things... Are, remember to fix the tripping slider. Remember to fix the auto goalie rotate. There's so many things you got to remember. Why can't the game just be normal? Joe Pavelski gets his first goal as a Starfleet officer in the postseason. Started the game and it was like, you know, I didn't think... I was sure. Oh no, that's exactly what he thought. Crosby scores another one. Beck gets another late push here. We score three late goals, then Dvorak adds an empty net and we lose 6-3. to three. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Kosa. Three third period goals. Crosby can move up, move up in the lineup. We gotta give him more ice time out here. <sighs> nice 880 save percentage. What a joke! It's... Greaves and Mikula can be our tandem next year if that's gonna be how it goes. Kosa, man, you're killing me. Come on, like Joseph said, we gotta get back into this. Okay, auto goal rotates. Call up Meech. Maybe he'll get a shutout. Yeah. Auto goalie, where'd it go? Did I pass it? Yeah, auto rotate goalies. Off. No, can't defend Kosa anymore. Love him, but yikes. All right, five goals against. That's it for him, excuse me. Here we go. Okay. Game three now on Long Island at UBS Arena. It's a 1 1 series now, a best of five. We're angry after that one. We're playing angry. We ended the, the game hot with three goals in the last like five minutes. Let's pick it up right there. But all of our goals have been from the bottom six. 
Crosby, Pavelski back. Come on now, or the defense. Top six, I'm looking at you. First period, it's 3-1 Islanders. Of course, Greaves gets out of his groove, and now he lets in three goals on ten shots. Sharon Govich, then Gerard answers back 18 seconds later, then Dvorak and Pelik. 3-1 Islanders after 20. Second period, 3-3, that's what I'm looking for. Avery McIntyre, welcome to the postseason. And Sidney Crosby scores again. Wow, he really wants that last cup. Shots are 28-22 to 22 through 40, and we're all tied up at 3 here. Come on now. Final 20 minutes for who's going to take the lead in this series. Five minutes in, and Sidney Crosby! Oh, how does he do it? 4-3 Starfleet now. Now from down 3-1 to up 4-3, but Bo Horvat ties it up at 4 now. Big top 50. Power play Starfleet killed off by the Islanders. Five minutes to go now. Next goal could be the winner. Into the final two minutes. Minute and a half. 25 seconds. We're headed to overtime. Shots end 37-30, to 30, and it's time for some ugly AI overtime. Yeah, Crosby's got to move up in the lineup, especially with the first... Like, no one scored in the top six in three games, aside from Avery McIntyre. Fiala, Lindholm, uh, Moore. Who else is there? Panarin. And there's one more, isn't there? Who hasn't scored? Crosby... Get your predictions in. Crosby OT winner, says Sean. Oh, first overtime of the postseason, let's do it. Five goals in three games, his back can't hold the team forever. Yeah, I know, I know. Here we go. Gives me a good, yeah, it's always a little bit of entertainment. All right, here comes Tolvanen. Slips by his man, gets bumped, still has the puck. Tolvanen to Horvat. Can't get the shot through traffic. In the corner now, Wallstrom. Tolvanen stopped by Greaves. Poked away by Wallstrom. Now here's Pesci fighting for it. Along the boards, he gets it up to McIntyre, exits the zone. McIntyre, deeks past nobody, gets uh, poke check. Panarin, one time scores! Cool Perfetti! That's who I was forgetting in the top six. He said, don't forget about me. Finula, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Finula says, cool jersey and hello. And that's exactly when Cole Perfetti scores. Thanks for the good luck there. Thank you very much. Cole Perfetti. Confetti Perfetti with the one-timer. McIntyre gains the zone. And Panarin finds him for the one T. His first goal of the postseason. Very nice. Bang. And down on one knee. Perfetti, Perfetti. Let's get the confetti. What a shot. Third eye, little backhand no look, little no look backhand from Panarin, and the one knee one T. Cole Perfecti, let's go. Huge win. Shots end 38 31, and Starfleet takes it 5 to 4. Three stars in this one? Not even. No three stars. Alright, game. Whew. Wow, we needed that one. Can't allow ourselves to start dropping winnable games now. Alright, so that puts us up 2 1 in the series. Eight points in three games from Sidney Crosby. Did it deflect? Oh, okay, but not off... I guess it would deflect off an Islander. All right, I didn't catch that. All right, let's make some changes here. Let's make some changes. Panarin, ooh, negative three. Negative four before that goal was scored. Smash the like for the in-game sim winner. Let's go. Negative one, plus one, negative one, zero. Does Perfetti come... Does Panarin go to the third line to help things out? Because postseason's a different story. It's not like, oh, I'm going to be unhappy. I'm playing 40 games on the third line. Postseason's a different story. Crosby's got to go first line. But, is, but McIntyre's also a scorer. The first line has to see a change somewhere. Crosby with Perfetti and McIntyre wouldn't work. How about Crosby with anybody else? No, eh? best we can get is plus one. Best we get is plus one. Crosby, Lindholm, McIntyre? Crosby, Lindholm, McIntyre, first line. Fiala, Perfetti, Moore on the second. Hold on, does that work? American, Canadian, Swede. American, Canadian, uh, Swiss. Finn, Russian, American. Yeah, that works. Tvelski could go center. Is this crazy to try Panera on the third line? Not to say, like, we hate you, but you're negative three, and we could use some playmaking down here. Let Pavelski and score some goals, maybe. Or maybe Moore comes down and swaps with Panarin, but then we can't have two Americans together. That's the problem. I would put Panarin on the second line, but then Pavelski would have to move up and someone else would have to move down. Let's do this for now. Let's give it a game and see what happens. McIntyre, Crosby, Lindholm. Let's really load up that first line. Fiala, Perfetti, Moore on the second. Let's see what happens. And Greaves gets another start here. Let's do it. Let's try that and see what happens. Because Crosby needs to get more ice time with eight points in three games. Come on now. Sidney Crosby. 
going to staying in Long Island for game number four now up to one in the series let's bring back this lead to um, to San Francisco here we go first period power play early two one Islanders though Pitlick and then Pellick Pitlick and Pellick making it two nothing but Sam Girard answers right after that Saturday's all right for Starfleet yes it is JP yes it is professor gets to learn from the caster then professor will learn from Crosby I have what sounds like a question. I don't understand the plus minus thing. Like, how is Ovi, who is the greatest scorer of our generation, a career minus player? Um, it's, you know, it, it it doesn't it doesn't include power play and penalty kill, right? So a lot of Ovechkin's offenses come from the power play. So that doesn't help out either. And he's not really a defensive guy. So with all the ice time that he gets and not being a very defensive player and being a lot of goals from the power play, that's kind of how it gets there. 2-2 two, two quickly in the second period as McIntyre scores on the power play. It opens up the period. Let's him throw. Oh, Crosby answers again. Let's go through the period. It ends. 3-3. Three three. Crosby's sixth goal in four games. Then Mason Appleton uh, ties it up late. Shots are 23-19 and six goals have been scored. 3-3 three, three tie headed into the third period. Yeah, uh, Greaves has woken up a little bit now. Two goals on nine shots initially. Owen Beck with his second of the postseason. Bizu Bizu Owen Beck makes it a 4-3 game. We have the lead now halfway through the third period. Shots are very much in our favor. 35-22, but Alan, Adam Pellick scores his second. Crosby McIntyre, yes. Power play late. Could this be something? No. Final 20 seconds. We're headed to overtime again. Shots end 38-23. But Greaves allows four on 23. Greaves, we can't be letting that happen too often now. Come on, buddy. We're headed to overtime again. If you want to see cool jerseys, I think the home jerseys are even cooler. Hopefully we can get to see them soon. But we're once again on the road here. All right, overtime in Long Island. We On Long Island, excuse me. We just won last night with Cole Perfetti getting the winner. The lines have changed up a little bit now with uh, Crosby on that first line center instead of Perfetti. So we'll see if that changes anything. Lindholm breaks that up, and he's also playing the first line. Lindholm up to Crosby. He's bumped off the puck. Now here is Tolvanen. Tolvanen down the wing against Pesci. He's going to dump that in. Behind the net going there is Gerard. He gets hit, but Pesci's there to help him out. Yeah, sorry, McIntyre's there to help him out. He gets it up to Lindholm now. Lindholm, let's change up, change up. Here's Gerard. Little deke. All right, Sam Gerard to Pesci. Ooh, big save and tight. And it's from front. Great pass in the slot there. Fabian Lysel, is that him? No, 20. that was Fiala. Fiala. No problem, Warmaster. No, no, so plus minus is... Uh, the sliders are already fixed, I believe, JP. Plus minus is even strength goals for and even strength goals for uh, against when you're on the ice. So if you score... If I'm on the ice for one goal against and three power play goals for, my, my plus minus is still negative one. Uh, that quick photo of the big screens out of the... Oh, on, in the arena? Yes. OT is just quality entertainment. Yes, it is. Uh, sliders should be fixed. Where are they? Well, I'm not looking in the right place. Gameplay sliders. There they are. Penalties. Yeah, we brought them down to 20 from whatever, 40 or 50 that they were at. So, uh, yeah, sliders are good to go. Oh, but we want to make sure we're shooting. You know what? That's the one slider we should fix. So we, also, we always got to go in and do this. But it is worth it to make sure the game is shooting. The players in the game are, are shooting. Yeah, cycle shoot. Way more cycling than shooting. Yeah, get those shots on net. Get those shots on net. There you go. Perfect. No problem. Happy to help. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that again. And there we go. Alright, so here we are. Uh, second line is out. Cole Perfetti on the dot. Oh, of Dan's big screen. Oh, I gotta go check it out. Defensive zone draw. Oh, it, was it? Is it still up there? I'll go look on Discord in a second. Hold on. Here comes Oliver Wallstrom. Nice little shot there from a good angle, but Greaves gets a glove on it, and he'll hang on. Or the NHL suggestions, maybe, or in general, or in media. Let me know where to look whenever it's up, Dan. If you do in, in, indeed put it. Yeah, we lose that face off there. Pelican the point. That shot's blocked. Let's go. Here is Fialis getting back looking for options. Very good. Exiting the zone is Cole Perfetti. OT winner just a couple nights ago. Cole Perfetti. Ooh! Takes a huge hit at the blue line. Uh, in a sense, we need a bit of help. No problem. It's not the best metric to base a player's worth on. Because, you know, put him on a bad team. Put him, and give him a lot of ice time. That's just going to happen no matter what. But, it, it, you know, over the course of an entire career, it wouldn't be a horrible thing to look at. I just don't think it's the be-all, end-all of player's value. Big break up there by Panarin. Here's more to Romanov with a big blast from the point. That's all got, um, a blocker got on that by Sorokin. 
Palak up to Sharon Govich now. Sharon Govich entering Starfleet territory. With a nice little move there as he gets through most players, but Hudson stops him up. Lysel, Pavelski exiting the zone. Very nice. Across to Panarin. Artemi Panarin hit off the puck. Here's Dobson now. We're going to bring out the first line in a moment. Nice little bump there. Lysel skating back. Hudson. All right, change up. First line coming out. Very good. Skate, skate. Come on. Sharon Govich going back the other way into Starfleet territory. Oh, I forgot to say, get your predictions in. Who's going to score for either side? If, or just start for Starfleet if you want to keep things positive. But get your predictions in for the OT winner. Here is Lindholm. And anything below? Exactly. Exactly, Bronco. Captain, hold on. Two on one for the Islanders. Broken up by, by Hudson. Very nice. Fourth to do something. I don't know. Did you have to get on the fourth line? I don't know. Make sure first deep pairs out. Random show. Hold on. Crosby scores! Wow! What a play! Just like they drew it up in practice! Wow! Crosby gets the game winner just as RJ says Crosby or the professor will get it. Sidney Crosby! Overtime winner! Wow! A random short angle shot, but he's there to get the rebound. Just like they drew it up. Wow! Back to back uh, uh, overtime winners. From a really bad angle, too. Wow! That's something. Did he even. Yeah, he, he, he batted it down! Bats down the puck and puts it in from a short angle. Sidney Crosby, what an acquisition! What a deadline acquisition for Starfleet. So who was this? Was this Pesci? Yeah, Pesci comes in, puts it on net. Crosby bats it down, gets control, and then shoots, releases the puck almost at the goal line. <laughs> wow! Shots end 43 to 24, and Starfleet wins 5-4 in overtime. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they shoot from everybody. Shooting at 10, that's what we want. We want those shots on net. Average clutch Crosby goal. Just vintage Sid. Back-to-back 5-4 -back overtime winners. Chills. In the AHL, we're through to the next round. Very good. Shades of Kaprizov. There you go. Love those playoff episodes. Yes, RJ. Yes! All right, so let's keep going. Seven goals, ten points for Sidney Crosby through four games. He, that's why we put him on that first line, and he's thriving. Game five now, yes, with a 3-1 series lead back in San Francisco at Enterprise Arena. After losing game two, right? Yeah, after losing game two, we've won back-to-back, -back, and now it's a 3-1 series. Let's end it here at home. First period, 1-0 Starfleet. It's Trevor Moore. Welcome to the playoffs. Power play goal from Trevor Moore. Oh, let's see it from Dan. Let's get it. Let's do something good for Dan. Ooh, I love it. Dan, you're one of a kind. You are one of a kind. Let's go. Second period for Starfleet. Now, 2-1 goal apiece. Sharon Govich ties it up. But then Elias Lindholm, the captain, answers with an even strength goal. I think that's his first even strength goal, if I'm not mistaken. Shots are 29-22 through 40 minutes. And we're up by one. Let's get the professor on the board. Let's go. RJ has been known to jinx things in the past. Give it to us, RJ. Come on! Ten minutes through the third period. We're hanging on to the one-goal lead. Greaves finally a little more solid here. TV's nice, but how's the wine? That's the question too, eh? Aldevron Whiskey. Final couple minutes here. Final push! And Ramirez will add the empty netter. And Starfleet will win 3-1. to one. Shots end 40-27. to 27, And we win by a score of 3-1. to one. Jet Greaves holds it down. We don't got to score 5 this time. 3 was enough. Um, oh, that's fine. That's fine, Dan. 37 saves from Sorokin, but not enough as Greaves makes 26 for the win. And Elias Lindholm scores the game winner as well. Let's go. 3-1 victory to win the series and punch our ticket to round number two. Eh? Nice way to close it out. Jet Greaves with a great closeout game. Not a bad Cabernet. The weekly man. How about that? Not Chateau Picard, but okay. Greaves leaves them grieving. Yes, big 3-1 win. Ladies and gentlemen, we have eliminated the Islanders once again after losing to them in the Stanley Cup final two years ago. We beat them in the East in the semifinal last year and the round of 16 this year. Very, very satisfying. Whew, hopefully, you know, last time we beat them and won the cup, hopefully this time we can beat them and go on to win the cup again. Through those five games, Sidney Crosby scored seven goals and 12 points. No one else scored more than two goals. Sidney Crosby, and that's a third year in a row where he's got a where Sorokin faces us, and he has great numbers, but they're not enough. Well, look at Sorokin's numbers in a second here. Na 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 na, hey hey, hey. goodbye. So after Crosby, who was more than two points per game, 
no one else was, act, was okay we had four other players at point per game but no one else was even close to that five and five for Gerard Lindholm Fiala and Panarin great Panarin still negative three but five assists in five games okay McIntyre four Lysel four Perfetti three Pavelski three Beck Moore Hudson Stenberg with two Otto Stenberg Romanov, Ramirez, Pesci, Guliev with one. I find a save the only pointless player. And Greaves, 4-0 with a 9.08 save percentage and 2.47 goals against average. Is Gerard a bust? We'll see, Mila. Mila's been calling for a Gerard trade for a little while now. Is this the off the postseason to make it happen? Sorokin, okay, so yeah. His numbers weren't great every night because of the couple of five goal against games, I suppose. But he had big performances. He showed up big in that final game where he was first star, but it wasn't enough. So we're through, ladies and gentlemen, to round number two. This is what? That's going to... Sorry. To, so we're, we win the round of 16, and we're through to the quarterfinal for the fourth consecutive year. That's the stat. Four consecutive years of making it past. Do not go gentle with that good night. No. We're not going to draw any lines yet, but last year we know. No, good, RJ. We need the energy. All right. Let's keep going. Miko is back to full health. Good. Let's get him back in here. Eamonen, uh, Eamonen did okay. He had two shutouts. The 63 overall had two shutouts. Two wins, both by shutouts. Two wins. Wow. Uh, did Meech play a little bit? Meech did play a little bit. Wow. Who do I even put as backup? I don't know. But Mikula obviously has to go back to being the starter. Yuha Mikula. Not even better numbers. 80 overall with worse numbers than the 69 and the 63. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Back to the NHL. Who will we face in round number two now? Anticipation is building. In round number two, we will be facing the St. Louis Blues. Have we faced St. Louis? I don't think we have. Oh, there's that squeak. Uh, no, we've never faced the Blues in the postseason. We haven't, you know, granted, it's a, we're a young franchise. Uh... They also had a similar record. 48, 29, and 5 was their record. Let's check out this, um, the playoff tree here. So the Blues were the 6th ranked team, and they beat the 11th ranked Kraken in a 7 game series. I see. Maybe we call him send down Kosa. Maybe, huh? Maybe. We'll see how Greaves continues to do here. Uh, okay, so there you go. St. Louis Blues, let's see their lineup. They, had, they finished 6th, we said. Yeah, similar record, but finished 3 spots lower. Uh, view lines, that's what I want to see. St. Louis Blues, how do they look here in 2028? I would assume Rob Thomas, Jordan Cairo. Two Canadians left, Edmonton and Ottawa. Two, two Canadian teams left, that's true, eh? Good catch. So, Bushnevich, Thomas, and Cairo is the top line here. Jimmy Snuggeroo with Zachary Bolduc and Brandon Saad on the third, second line. Neighbors, Middlestat, and Connor Brown on the, th on the third line. And uh, Paraskak, Studnika, and Shen, 36-year-old Braden Shen on the fourth line. New Android player, Braden Shen, in our Data782 Dynasty Hockey League. Shout out to Sean Avery. For getting, we had a trade deadline yesterday. We were getting it done at 11.59. Slavin and Dumba on the top pair here in St. Louis. Lindstein and DeMello on the second. Falk and Krug on the third. Goaltending, it is Jordan Binnington, Binnington at an 82 overall. Not the greatest numbers, and he's backed up by Joel Hofer, who is an 81. Scratchers, Anderson Dolan, Canucks legend. Luf and Adam Lowry. How have they done so far? Bushnevich, three points in seven games. Thomas, four points. Kyrie, only two points. I bet their second line's carrying. Seven points in seven games from Saad. Uh, ten points in seven games from Bolduc. Ten points from Snuggeroo. Um, that could be an off interesting, eh? Tarek, Tariq? Tariq. Tariq Par uh, Paraskak. Tariq Paraskak. Medium lead potential. 12th overall pick in 2024. One more year of his ELC. Getting buried on the fourth line. What are you doing this season? 27 points on the season. Last year spent a lot of time as a healthy scratch as well. Maybe an off-season target. But he's also Canadian, right? So we got to be careful about the amount you know, of Canadians we bring in here. So interesting lineup here for the for the Blues. Interesting lineup. Not a good first line stats-wise, but that second line's been carrying. And um, Jordan Bennington doesn't look too hot either. So we'll keep the lineup as it's been. We'll continue to consider changes, but we'll keep the lineup as it's been. Defense, negative one, negative one, negative one, plus one, plus four, plus two. Our worst plus minus defenseman, Cole Hudson, at a plus four. That's great. And Greaves continues to be the starter here. 2.47 goals against. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Game one, round two. 
No letdown here, boys. No, 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 no. Game one, round two here in San Francisco, hosting the Blues, who just had a seven-game series. Let's do it. Hudson promotion time, maybe, for Gerard? Question mark? Let's do it. First period, 1-1 one, one after 20. Jordan Cairo, of course, he opens up the scoring. Then Guliev gets his first goal of the postseason. Shots are 13-11 for Starfleet through 20, and we're tied at 1. Second period now, 2-1 Starfleet. Pavelski scored early on. That's his second, I believe, of the postseason. Shots are close to double in our favor, 30-17, to but we are just up 2-1. to one with, uh, hold on, power play opportunity here in the third period, early, killed off, power play, Blues now, extended Blues power play, a very extended Blues power play, but it's killed off in, in its entirety, uh, but then middle stat ties up, do I say Star Wars? Uh, well, definitely more Star Trek, but you could throw some Star Wars in there, the Blues score twice in the third, we need something late here, final minute, 40 seconds, uh, the Blues score twice in the last 10 minutes, we can't have that happening, Shots end 39 to 26, and we lose 3 to 2. Two late goals. We can't allow that to be happening, boys. Come on. Binnington, of course, makes 37 saves. Oh, we can't let that happen, boys. Come on. Let me get a little sip there. Mikola has hit the solution. No, Greaves only allowed three, but two late is a killer. We can't be only scoring two goals out here. Come on, Avery, Fiala, no goals yet. Come on. Music too loud in this restaurant. Food's just about here, but I had to check in. Chat, how we doing? Hobbsy, we, we won round one in five games. Crosby, seven goals and five, 12 points in five games. In game one here of round two, we just lost three to two in a third period heartbreaker. Let's try to win this one at home to make it a best of five and come out of the two games at home with a 1-1 tie, just like in round one. Let's go. Two goals was not enough last game. First period, 0-0 after 20. And that huge penalty, I forgot to check who took the penalties. That huge, like, eight minutes of power play for the Blues did not help. All right, second period now. We're being outshot, but we're up 1-0 after 40. Jalen Ramirez giving us the lone goal of the game so far. Shots are 26-17 for St. Louis, but we're up 1-0. Enjoy the food. That's, ah, that's right. Where are you eating, Hobbsy? What's on the menu? Power play Blues early in the third period. Killed off. Only one, though. Who's going to give me something in the top six? Who's going to give me something in the top six? Power play Blues again. A power play goal from Bushnevich. Halfway through the third. Don't do like last game. We're being outshot like crazy. But Fabian Lysel gets a power play goal. Power play Blues now. Killed off. Look at this. And Brett Pesci makes it 3-1. to one. Habs up 1-0. Love it. Oh, my goodness. Jet Greaves stands on his head. Perfect. Everyone share your meals and where you're watching from the Discord server. Jet Greaves stands on his head and makes 42 saves. We definitely did not deserve this one. Pesci, Lysel, where is our top six scoring? Shots end 43 to 25. Lie, don't sell. Jet Greaves makes 42 saves for first star honors. Ramirez, Lysel, and Pesci, the three goal scorers. Greaves masterclass. Where is the top lines? Where are the top lines? What's going on here? Sid? Come on, Sid. McIntyre, only two goals. Maybe we need more playmaking. Maybe McIntyre... Here, okay, here's what we're going to do. McIntyre's going down, and Panera's coming up. Because can't have two Americans with Moore and Panarin. Uh, Moore and McIntyre, that is. We're going to go Fiala, Crosby, Lindholm. Panarin, Perfetti, McIntyre. Rempe versus Jacki. I don't think we, nothing happened yet, eh? Myla, I read your mind there. I read your mind. Oh, but then we have two Americans here with Pavelski and uh, and Moore. Hmm. Does Pavelski move up to the top six? If he did, maybe Perfetti moves down. He has that one goal in overtime, but that's it. Maybe Perfetti moves down. That takes away the plus five from the top line. He's a great fit there. Panarin seems to be doing well. Maybe Panarin stays here. And then who can play center? 70 faceoffs from Panarin. Is that good enough? And then McIntyre. Two Americans? No, we can't do that. So we're going to have to move somebody down. Moore or Pavelski on the, on the fourth line, I guess. And it looks like it's going to be Trevor Moore. Moore's going to the fourth line. Yeah. On one foot. Hey, what a squeak. Moore's going to play fourth line just for this game. And we're going to give Otto Stenberg a chance on the third line. Let's do that. Defense, 0-0, zero, zero, negative 1, 1, 4, 2. Yeah, defense is going to stay the same. A little mixed up for the forwards. 
A little shake up for the forward line. The top nine, a little shake up in the top nine. And we'll see what happens with that. We're winning games, but we're not getting enough scoring from those players. The defense, the bottom six, we can't always be relying on them. So here at Enterprise Center, so we go from Enterprise Arena to Enterprise Center in St. Louis for game two now, with a one, excuse me, for, excuse me, for game three, with the series tied one game apiece. Is there a mistake? Is there a mistake, Sean? Oh, is Lysel Finnish or is he Swedish? Lysel and Stenberg, aren't they? Oh, they're both Swedish. It was an honest mistake. I'm sorry. It was an honest mistake. First period, 2-1, and there's Otto Stenberg. Ah! We can allow ourselves an honest mistake once in a while, I suppose. But Otto Stenberg, there he is in the third line. Ah, scoring. Connor Brown ties it up, and Ramirez scoring now again. He's got a little bit of a scoring flair. 2-1 after 20. Now we have to lose the game on purpose. Second period. Ooh, maybe we will. Power play goal from Cairo, then Studnika making it 3-2 St. Louis. Yeah, I suppose you could allow it for a game or two if there's an absolute emergence. No, nah, not knowingly. Not knowingly. Twenty Shots are tied at 22 through 40 minutes. And we're down by one with two goals from the Blues there in the second period. Let's go. Top six, I'm looking at you. Power play St. Louis early in the third. We kill it off. Power play San Francisco. Uh, Costa stubbed his toe. We can do same nation players for one game. There we go. All right. Mikola. Four goals. But Greaves just had one goal against on 40-some shots. Tonight he allows four on 26. But we only get two on 30. So we can't leave him out to dry every night. Tariq makes it 4-2, to two, and that's the end of that one. Shots end 33-26, and we lose 4-2 to two in St. Louis. Otto Stenberg, a goal and an assist. But we got to move him down. Uh, and Stenberg's injured with a pull groin. Okay, so we don't need to do anything anyways. He's out for a couple weeks. No, Mikola's not getting called up yet. No, 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 no. We're not calling up Mikola yet. Greaves still has a 9-1-1 save percentage and 2.5 goals against average. Hold on a second here. The team hasn't been scoring. It's not the goaltending that's the, that's the issue here. Uh, so if Anasev can play third line, and Cunnan can come in on the fourth line, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Even like that. Because if Anasev is Russian, there we go. This top line, these top, this top six is not impressing me. Really not impressing me. Zero goals from goals from Fiala, one from Lindholm, zero from Panarin, one from Perfetti, two from McIntyre. Not liking that. More in Cunning. Ah, good catch. Thank you, everyone. So Cunning will not come to the lineup. It'll be Oliver Kapanen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oliver Kapanen is Finnish. There we go. How are his faceoffs? 81 versus 80. No, it's okay. Beck is the guy. Uh, and we'll do this. Okay, Kapanen, Beck, Moore. Give me the fourth line. Okay. Sidney Crosby, maybe he doesn't like the top line. I don't know. 4-2 loss. We're now down 2-1 in the series. Going down 3-1 would be really worst case scenario here. We don't want that happening. we got to win this game right here. We're through the next round in the AHL, by the way. we got to win this next game to put ourselves back in this series. Come on now. Game four in St. Louis. Enterprise Center. Top six, you gotta come through. We don't want to see off-season overhauls for things like that. Let's go. First period, 2-0 Starfleet. Thank you very much. Panarin in the top nine, at least. Thank you, Sean Avery, for keeping us in line, as Sean Avery does. And Trevor Moore on the power play from a short angle. Shots 13-10. to 10. We're up 2-0 after 20. Make it 3-0, and now make it 5-1 to 1 after 40. Crosby scores twice in the second period, even strength and on the power play. Guliev scores to make it 5-0, but then Kairu scored with 7.39 to go to make it 5-1. to 1. Shots are 25-23 for St. Louis, but we've scored 5 goals on 23 shots on Bennington, and we're up by 4 here in the third period. Let's hang on to this lead, and let's make it a 2-2 series headed back to San Francisco. Let's go. Power play San Francisco killed off. Power play St. Louis killed off. Halfway through the period, power play for the Starfleet officers once again killed off once more. Five minutes left in the third period, and we have this one wrapped up. Neighbors scores late, but it won't be enough. As Starfleet wins by a score of five. Oh, power play again late. Hey, McIntyre power play goal. There you go. By a score of six to two. Shots end 39-35. Jet Greaves says, whoa, 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 whoa. What are you thinking, Mikola? Hold on. Don't go to Mikola just yet. 37 saves from Greaves. First star honors. Crosby scores twice. Kevin Fiala playing with Sidney Crosby on the top line gets three assists. So there's that. Uh, Kevin Fiala, the playmaker this postseason. 
14 points in nine games for Sidney Crosby now, and we are going to have a tied series at two, headed back to San Francisco, and it's now a best of three in this series. The power play professor. Whew, take a little sip here. Hold on. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Leave a like if you haven't already for good luck. Let's keep on rolling. I like those lines enough to say let's keep it going for game number five back in San Francisco. Let's do it. First period in front of the home fans, 2-0 St. Louis early. Kairou scores twice. Shots 12-11. Um... Yeah, yeah he's, he's, like a, he's, like a, he's like a sniping playmaker in the simulation. All right, second period now from down 2 nothing. Let's let it sim a little bit. Power play, St. Louis 5 on 3. Connor Brown scores on the power play, of course. What happened here? Uh, Cross-checking minor, then elbowing minor, as we were like 15 seconds into killing the penalty. Great. Period ends 3 nothing. All right, third period. No scoring through the first 40 minutes. We scored six goals last game. We're not out of it yet, but let's go. Crosby, McIntyre, Fiala, Panarin. Let's go! Power play goal for Snuggaroo. Five. Snuggaroo scores twice. Kairou scores twice. Bujanevich gets another. Three goals here in the third period. Greaves is so up and down. And we're going to get shut out after we score six. And the Blues will answer back by scoring six of their own. After we score six in St. Louis, they score six and we get shut out. Six nothing! 35 to 28, the shots end. Two goals. And this is Rob Thomas, four assists. Oh, wow. Wow. Crowd chanting, Mikola. <laughs> Mika Haikila, mild concussion down in the AHL. Hot and cold by Katy Perry. I don't know. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Down in the AHL, what are Mikola's numbers even? Mikola, 914 save percentage, 2.4 goals against average. Five and three in nine games. They're trying to... You know, and they're in the middle of a postseason run down there. I don't know. How about we call up Meech? Hey, how about that? We call up Meech. The AHL needs him. We call up Meech or... Uh, what's his name? Imanen. How about that, guys? <laughs> Meep. Yeah, keep him for next season. But we need to get offense somewhere. I don't think we can send down Kosa. Waivers still apply, don't they? No, they don't. But I see players on waivers sometimes. But it tells you that they do, but they don't. Our Swedish AHL team needs them. Yes, we do, RJ. Yes, we do. Fiala, eight assists. Crosby. Lindholm's doing nothing. Lindholm's coming off that line. McIntyre's going to play top line, maybe? Or Panarin? Yeah, Panarin top line with a plus five. Crosby, Panarin... Cro oh, Panarin, Crosby, Fiala... Then it's going to be... Rigo McIntyre, Perfetti, Lindholm? Better face-offs for Lindholm. Maybe Perfetti goes... Yeah, he has three points. Perfetti goes third line. Pavelski comes up. Hold on, we can't have two Americans, though. So Panarin swaps with McIntyre. This we could do... Yes, this works. This works. Then Lysel, Perfetti, Afanasev. No, even Perfetti... Moore could come back up for the plus three. We could do this. We could do this. <clears throat> Yo, you don't gotta travel. You just gotta tele teleport. Um, not teleport. What's the word? Um, transport. No sniper. Yeah, no sniper. But we have Pavelski, who with has his five star shooting. Defense. What's up here? Gerard six points, negative four. Pesci, two points, negative four. We gotta, yeah, we gotta change the top defensive pair. Ramirez, Hudson. Okay, let's put Ramirez top pair. I'm sorry, Hudson top pair. With... With who? We can't have two Americans with Ramirez. Can Romanov go? Romanov, Hudson top pair. Gerard, Ramirez second pair. With the plus three. Guliev Pesci on the third pair. I'm thinking that might be it. Kolhatsin, yeah, 13th overall pick of ours in 2024. 
juice it with the most offensive guys we can. It would be Hudson and Guliev if, that was, if we want to do that. We could do that, but Romanov and Hudson have been a good pair together. But, I don't know, you're right. You might want to juice it a little bit. We could go Romanov Pesci on the third pair instead. Alright, we'll go Hudson Guliev then. Hudson Guliev on the top pair. I'm going to listen to you, Myla. That's true. Hudson from the Islanders in the Vancouver series. Romanov from the Islanders in the expansion draft this series. And, they, and we beat the Islanders. Does Jet Greaves keep the crease for game six and then possibly ga game seven? Kosa with his 880 save percentage. Last year in the playoffs, when we turned to him, he had a 904 save percentage with one shutout, 2.85 goals against, juicing it up. Yes, juice, you're exactly right. Thank you for, say for saying so. Do we go with Greaves, Kosa, or Meech? Greaves, Kosa, or Meech? Do we go crazy with a 69 overall? Or do we let Greaves give us another game? Meech, do we really go, go for the memes? And put uh, the 69 overall in? To really expose this game for what it is? Wesley Meech, 6th round pick in 2024. Three votes, all for different goalies. One vote from each, one vote Greaves, one vote Kosa. Dan says Big Meech. <laughs> Larry Hoover. JP says Greaves. Put your vote in the chat. Put your vote in the chat. There you this squeak. Joe says Co Oh my goodness. <laughs> Joe says Kosa. Hold on, let me count this here. My friend Buck says Kosa. <laughs> you got a buddy with you? Kosa says Kronos. So that's one, two, three. Oh, uh, T-Benum. <laughs> My friend T-Benum. <laughs> hey, I want T-Benum. Tu veux qui, uh, comme gardien? Uh, Donne-moi Kosa. Tu veux Kosa? Ben, je veux Kosa. Ben, petit bonhomme dit Kosa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> My pal Chuck said Meech. <laughs> this is good. Uh, a lot of votes for Kosa. So Greaves. Greaves had two or three votes. Yeah, two. Kosa had most votes. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Kosa's getting the votes. I'm going with the people. That's what we do here in the franchise mode, ladies and gentlemen. I hear you, doggy. I, w I probably would give a vote to Greaves myself. Greaves has been hot and cold. If I don't know what you do, Greaves. <laughs> okay, let's think about it systematically. Let's think about this logically. Jet Greaves. Minus game one, uh, game two against the, um, the Islanders. Greaves. Just Greaves games. 5-1 win. 5-4 overtime win. Okay, forget the wins. Look at goals against. One goal against. Four goals against. Four goals against, one goal against, three goals against, one goal against, four goals against, two goals against, six goals against. Kosa in his one game had six goals against. Lost the one game. He, yeah, Kosa one game, six goals against. Greaves, one, four, four. But since those four fours, it's been one three, one, four, two, then six. You know? I really lean Greaves. If everybody's saying Kosa, I'm going to go with the people, but I'm really leaning Greaves. Having said all that, giving my argument, do we still think Coach Kosa or Greaves? Or even Meech? <laughs> Wesley Meech. Greaves, that gives him a goal against average of 2.88. Minus those few games of uh, those first few games of four and four, we can't. We'd have to go in and watch the entire game if we do that, though, Sean. If we want to switch Kosa in the, after the first period, Kosa first period and switch in second. Even for Nemo and Koma, sounds like Greaves was just due for a real, just one real off night. Sounds like Greaves was just due for one real off night. Yes, yes. Joe changing the vote to Greaves. Okay, okay. 
just makes sense, says Joe. Personally, I think that Mikola would be the smartest option. I don't know. I don't know. His numbers in the AHL are okay. 65 poise. Uh, but the, in the AHL, they're trying to win the championship down there. To pull up the, to call up the starting goalie in the middle of a playoff run? I don't know about that for them either, right? What's his poise? 74? I don't want to beat this to death here, but... I think Greaves is the guy. 90 vision? Or is that... Uh, that was uh, Nikola, correct? The other AHL goalie got the shutout, though. Meech did... And then even even got two shutouts and two wins. Meech looks crazy. Wesley Meech. In the regular season, though, 886 save percentage. A vote for Greg Goldberg. Perfect. Our, from our Bia Pro Series on what? HL 21? Goldberg. Classic. You could be a 58 overall. You're not going to get sent down. You're going to be buried in the, in the NHL. Just buried by goals in the NHL. All right, I'm going to say Greaves. Meech is the fun option, but I'm going to say Greaves. I think I've heard enough from the people. I've done enough calculations to say I think we're going to go with Greaves here. If it was really a landslide for Kosa, I'd say all right. But it seems like it's divided, and I think the logic's there for Greaves. Win or lose, I think the logic's there. All right? Game six here in St. Louis to push it to, to seven. <sighs> to continue the run to the Stanley Cup final for a third consecutive year, and to continue our journey for back-to-back for back -back Stanley Cups. Leave a like if you haven't already for good luck. Jet Greaves, we're giving you the crease one more time. Top nine, please give us some goals. Times eight speed, controller down. Panarin opens it up on the first shot of the night. Thank you, Artemi Panarin. Let's go. Artemi gives us the first goal of the game. Are you not embarrassed of having to do this to this young goaltender? Lindstein scores in the eighth shot, and Panarin gets another. Two goals on five shots, and we're up two to one. We get two on five, they get one on eight. All right, all right, all right. Lindstein getting that goal on Greaves. Uh, Panarin has scored twice. Did he even score, like what? He had, how many goals did he have before? Two goals in the first nine minutes, ten minutes, and Pancake. Yeah, Pancake puts us up 2-1. All right, second period up 2-1 to one now. Let's keep on going. Let's add to it. Power play St. Louis. You can't leave them out to dry like this, boys. Let's go. We kill off the power play. And there's Avery McIntyre. Finally, finally, Avery McIntyre, the professor. Class is in session. 3-1 Starfleet now with five minutes to go in the second period. Shot tied at 19. We're pulling away a little bit. A couple minutes to go. And the period will end with, with the shots being 22 to 19 in our favor. And we're up by two. Sean Avery's prediction was a 4-1 victory. We're up 3-1 after 40. We're not done yet. Let's go. Third period now. Let's push this to seven, gentlemen. Let's go. Power play St. Louis. We kill it off. Power play Starfleet. Killed off as well. We're uh, up 2-1 to one halfway through the third period now. Power play Starfleet. And it's Bushnevich scoring just as our power play expires. 3-2 St. Louis with three minutes to go. Final two minutes. Power play Starfleet. And we come away with the victory. It was a tight one, but we win by a score of 3-2. Jet Greaves makes 26 saves on 28 shots. We outshoot the Blues 36-28, and we win 3-2 to push this series to 7. Greaves says, trust me, 928 save percentage. He gets second star honors, and Panarin carried us with his two goals. How come Thomas with one assist was third star? I don't know. But we win 3-2. Greaves pulls through. Yes. All right. Here we go for game seven now, ladies and gentlemen. We pushed it to seven back in San Francisco. We're going to keep rolling with Greaves, I think. As much as it would have been fun to see Meech in there, we're going to roll with Greaves. Greaves, yes, at a 9.08 save percentage. Unless, man, you know what? I'm going to... I don't usually do this, but just for fun. Just in case, I'm going to... I'm going to exit the save, yeah, let me just save and exit for a second. If we lose, or even if we don't lose, we can just come back to this later. Let's see game seven with Meech as the goalie, and when we're, whenever we're done the playoffs, whether we win or lose, let's do that. So, we have that, that's going to be May 16th. Good. So, I'm going to delete this save file mail. It's such a delicate balancing act to make sure you don't delete a save file you need. So we'll keep the two Vancouver's. I always have at least two at any given time because there's always you always, always got to have a backup. But if you have too many, they save over the other one. So I can't have three or four. I always have two of each. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is create a new save file. Good. That's When it's live, you know that I'm not playing with the system here. 
give us a boost. Yeah, maybe maybe that'll help us out, eh? Um, then I'll exit without saving. To make sure there's not there's probably I think there's three save files now, so I'll delete one of them. And there we go. So now we have four save. You gotta be careful. Make too many. They're gonna save over the, the Vancouver ones. So I have four on May 16th. Sorry, you see it right there? Right there. My April 18th or whatever just got uh, got um, uh, deleted. I'm just I'm just creating a save file so we can see if we put Meech in for Game Seven just for fun. How would that work out? There we go. Just for fun later on. No engineering, but I don't like the trend of good game, bad game, good game, bad game. That's true. Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad, and here we are in game seven. So win or lose. Win or lose at the end of the stream, I want to come back to this game, game seven and round two, and put Meech as the goalie, the 69 overall, just to see what happens. So that being said, sorry, just a quick little thing to have some fun at the end. This series is tied at three. We're headed back to San Francisco for game seven after a big win in game six, but the scoring is still not there. Um, yeah, it's always a heart attack when you're deleting files. I know, I know. Yeah, we'll just run with it. We'll come back at the end, even if we go all the way to the cup final. We'll come back later. Okay. Um, yeah, McIntyre finally got a goal out there. Uh, Fiala with nine assists. Panarin, three goals. Yeah, he scored two of his three goals. The second line's working well for him, so I guess we'll keep that. Perfetti, negative two. Perfetti's killing me out here. Perfetti's really killing me. On defense, Hudson, plus three, negative one, negative three, plus two. Plus two, negative four. Great. And Greaves to a 9.08 save percentage now. 2.79 goals against average. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Game seven, round two. Does, does our run to back-to-back -back Stanley Cups end here? Crosby and Pavelski, do their careers end here? Or do we live to fight another day and move on to the semifinal? Game seven, round two, year five, Enterprise Arena. Controller down. It's showtime. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. In the first period, shots. We have eight shots in the first five minutes. Wow. 0-0 zero, zero after the first ten minutes here. No scoring just yet. Shots are... The Blues are coming back in the shots here. 10-8, to 11-9, 11-10. Final three minutes of the period. And we'll get a late goal. And Saad gets it for the Blues. Ah, and we'll end the period down one nothing. Shots 13 to 12 for St. Louis. one nothing Blues after 20. But Sidney Crosby, there he is! Where have you been, Sid? Where have you been? Sidney Crosby ties it up, and Avery McIntyre on the power play. Dumba ties it up at 2, but at least we got a couple of goals there early in the second period. 2-2, two -two, halfway through this game. Shots 20-17 to 17 as well. Saad gets his second of the game to go ahead 1-0, and now to go ahead 3-2. Power play, Starfleet, it's Cole Perfetti with his second goal of the postseason. And Cole Hudson up on the top pair defense makes it 4-3. San Francisco now up 4-3, headed into the third period. Shots are 26-21 for the Blues, but we are up by one after, what, a six-goal second period. Wow. 4-3 San Francisco after 40. Third period action now with a one-goal lead. It is electric here in San Francisco on the, on the holodeck. And Joe Pavelski gives us a two-goal lead. Power play now. Killed off by the Blues. Two-goal lead with ten minutes to go. But Jake Neighbors cuts back into it. And then Pavelski says, I don't think so. He gets his second of the period and extends our lead back to two. But then Stubnika makes it 6-5. We're finally scoring, but Greaves keeps letting them in. Five goals. Final 38 seconds. Do we hop in or let it end? Hold on. Do we hop in or do we let it run? Okay, Doggy said, okay, we'll hop in. Doggy says hop in, we'll hop in. Then we can see our home jerseys now. Beautiful. 6-5 with 38 seconds to go. Draw that line. From down three games to two, we're now up by one with what? Like 40, I think it was 38? About 40 seconds left to go. I hate that it always starts the game at center ice though. This far, no further. Here we go. Whoa, whoa, where are you going? Where are you? Whoa! What are you doing? Where are you going? What's go <laughs> what? The face-off, what happened? Did everybody see that? The face-off happened, they stayed, They skated straight to the bench. Woo! Lindholm empty netter. Wow, what a roller coaster. Whoa. And Joe with the 279 donation. That was for you, Joe. We get the win, and we're through to the semifinal. Woo! That was scary. Very rare to see a goal from behind the blue line, too. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me make sure... Uh, 
Yeah, we'll go and see that again. I'll just write that down. Mighty Joe, that's your second donation. But your last one was how much, Joe? Was it a twelve ninety nine? I think. Did I change lines? Maybe I. Maybe. Maybe the blame's on me there. Maybe I clicked the button too many times. Some, sometimes just inadvertently in between uh, whistles, I'll just click the button. Like if, if it's the first line, I'll click it a few times just to, and then get it back to the first line, but not actually change my line. Maybe that was my fault, but still, that was uh, that was scary. It should show you on the screen. So what happened here? Face, yeah, face off goes straight to the bench. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, okay. 7-5 and we'll take it. 13, okay, so that's going to be... Uh, that's three entries now for you, Joe. Right? Two entries for that last one. I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep track of, the, of, of that. Myla with the $1. Okay, Myla, I see you. Let's add Myla to it. I'll add Myla to the list. Thank you, Myla. Very much appreciated for the donation. One timer. The link makes the save. Oh, man. Honestly, doggy, they I can't I'll, I'll I'll throw you some entries just as a thank you, but I like for example I don't have an exact number on your donations. Like if I give you five and maybe it should have been six, or if I give you, maybe I give you eight and it should have been seven, or I give you ten and it should have been twelve. I don't know. I don't know the exact number of times you've donated, but I'll give you a good number of entries. Kairu with a nice move, and then that's gonna be it. All right, we just slipped through and are on to the semifinal, ladies and gentlemen. From down three games to two, we come back and win it 7-5 here in game seven. Jet Greaves a little shaky, but we pull it off. Big love, doggy, big love. Let's see those handshakes. Lindholm with Shen. Shen on the fourth line. Probably it for his career. That's it. I'll, for those who I know have donated a bunch in the past, I'll give you a bunch of entries, just as uh, as a complimentary type of thing. Shots end 36-33, and we get win game 7 by a score of 7-5. to five. That was scary stuff. Scary, scary stuff. Jet Greaves just comes away with the victory. Alright, uh, no, Bobby Ryan's not there anymore. So now in round number 3, in the semi-final, the final four teams in the NHL... We will be facing the Edmonton Oilers. Wow. All right, so let's start breaking it all down. The series that was and the series that will be. So Sidney Crosby, 16 points in 12 games. Panarin's woken up, 14 points for him through the 12 games. Uh, was that it? Really? Was that it? But you've, at least you've, I've already made a, a player for you at least. So I don't feel bad if like for you got, you got uh, uh, the short end of the stick. Uh, in like a in a randomization, no? at least you had your and your player was a legend with the Ducks in the Penguins series. Fiala eleven assists in twelve games. Pavelski ten points. He loves his boost to the top six. Sean every time to work. Have a good night, you all, and keep the wins coming. Thank you for being here, my friend. Thank you for your involvement. Thanks for the love and for making all of your thoughts known. As always, your input is so very appreciated. And we thank and the original donation as well. The first one of the night going to Sean Avery. Thanks, buddy. Much love. Bunsway. Now, uh, Elias Lindholm is going to have... Also has 10 points in 12 games. Very good. Avery McIntyre, 5 goals, 8 points. He's woken up a little bit. Fabian Lysel also with 8 points. Gerard, 6 points, negative 5. Don't like that. Guliev, 6 points, plus 1. Hudson, 6 points, plus 5. Amazing. Perfetti, 5 points, negative 3. Moore, 5 points, negative 5. You're killing me, Trevor Moore. Ramirez with four points, Owen Beck with four points, Stenberg four, Pesci two, Romanov, Afanasev with one, Kapanen no points, negative one through four games. Goaltending, Jet Greaves eight and three, same as his record in the regular season, but a 902 save percentage and 3.08 goals against average. All right, so I think Jet Greaves continues to keep the crease in game one of round three, but we'll see here for how long. Here in the semifinal, so it's going to be us against the second place Oilers, who is a tough matchup. So this will, on paper, be our hardest matchup of the entire postseason, because worst case, we go to the final against the ninth place Flyers or the 13th place Devils. So the second place Oilers, they swept through the Sharks and they took down the seventh place Senators in six. Uh, but that's right, that's right, two less appearances. Uh, have we faced, we faced the Oilers, right? Uh, no, we have not. No, no, we haven't faced the Oilers yet in the San Francisco playoffs. No, we have not. 
So the Oilers swept the Sharks with a 13th or 15th place Sharks or something. Uh, view lines. That's what I want to see. View lines. Let's see who's on the Oilers squad. On this Oilers squad, Drysaitel, McDavid, etc. Let's check it out. All right, 2028 Oilers. We see Drysaitel, McDavid, and Tyler Bertuzzi. Just like in the uh, Canucks series, Bert Bertuzzi here in Edmonton. Second line: Olafson, Nugent Hopkins, and Zach Hyman. I think this team might be missing some grit. Who do you think's missing here, Myla? Zach Hyman there. Marchment, uh, James Haggins, second overall pick in 2025, real world created prospect. And Matsu Joseph, fourth line, Hepanyemi, Holloway, and Petrov. On defense, Nurse and Bouchard, Labushkin and Gavrikov, Mata and Stetcher. Hey, they just like in the real world. The Oilers got Stetcher here at the deadline. That's funny. And goaltending, it's 85 overall, Stuart Skinner. <laughs> With a 1.85 goals against average. No, no, never never listen to Mark, Joe. Never listen to Mark. And a 937 save percentage. Wow. Oh my goodness. 8-2-0 with one shutout. James Haggins. He's a real world prospect. And Kakinen backing him up. Scratches. Entwistle, Fortier, and Philip Broberg. So yeah, very good lineup here in Edmonton. 14 points. 7 goals, 14 points for Dreisaitl. Through 10 games. Same for McDavid. 7 goals, 14 points. Bertuzzi only 3 assists though. Hyman 5 points. Nugent Hopkins 9 points. Olafson with 7 points. Marchman 3. Haggins 3. Maybe. Is it all power play? Is that it? With physicality, you think? Uh, 3 power play points out of 14 for McDavid. Marchman definitely has the body there. 6 foot 4. Petrov 6 2. I don't know. It's... Physicality, more the defense. You got 6'4", six, 6'4", six, four, six, four, Mason Marchman. Uh, Nurse, uh, three, 3 points plus 3, 87 overall. Bouchard, 5 points plus 4. Starfleet and 4, says Joseph. All right. Gavrikov, 2 points. Labushkin, 2 points. Mata, 1. Stetcher, 2. So it's a good uh, Oilers squad. Definitely a lot of offense on that first line. McDavid and Dreisaitl carrying, but Stuart Skinner has been incredible. So we got to make sure that we're scoring. We got to be scoring if we want to be winning, because it's not going to be easy against Stuart Skinner. We got through Sorokin, but come on now, Mason Primo is only two games, really? Okay. Yeah, he's going to be one of the top three picks in the 2025 draft, I believe. Um, in next year's draft, not this, not this next coming year, but next year after that. Mika Haikila back in the lineup, good. And how's Mikola doing? Nine on one save percentage. All right, all right. Okay, so here we go. Game one, round three. We've made it to the semifinal for now what? what it's the fourth consecutive semifinal that we've made it to. We won in six two years ago. We won in four last year. Let's see what happens this year. Game one, round three, 2028 semifinal. And for the first time, no home ice as the Oilers were the second place team in the NHL. 52-27-3 was their record. It's not going to be an easy series. They were a very good team all year and they're continuing to be very good right now. Game one, round three, year five. Rogers place. Let's do it. Shields up, gentlemen. First period, 2-0 Oilers early. Of course, there it is. Connor McDavid on the power play and dry sidle even strength. Kosa has one more year after this one at one point like two two five million, I think. Second period, 3-1. Pavelski make, scores make it a 2-1 game, but then Olafson re-extends the lead to two. Shots are 21-20 for the Oilers, and we're down by two here in the first period, in the third period of game one. Kevin Fiala! And then the Panarin! Wow! Kevin Fiala scores his first goal of the postseason. Thanks for waking up. And then Panarin scores his third goal in the last two games, right? Or the last three, something like that. All of a sudden, the power play, no! Scoring late. Oilers back up by one, and they get a big, of course. That's perfect. Let's take a like an eight minute penalty, and then the great. Oh my goodness! Let's take an eight minute penalty here. Who's taking these penalties? Boarding, hooking, hooking major. I hate you, EA. Hooking major from Lindholm, and we lose because of that. From a, from a tied three three to allowing two power play goals because of a hooking major. Shots end 35-30, and we lose 6-3 to three with an empty netter. Incredible. Incredible. <sighs> Hooking major. Otto Stenberg is healthy. Does he come back in for Kapanen? Yeah, he does. Now, what do we do with the goaltending? What do we do with the goaltending? It's 
since you... <laughs> yeah, Sten brings me back in the lineup here. Trevor Moore, you're killing me. Moore, Perfetti, you're killing me. They need someone to be scoring goals in this line. That's where Pavelski does, would, would come in handy, but he's been good on the second line. Top six woken up a little bit. Crosby slowed down. Do we need Crosby back on the third line? Are we gonna, let's get, okay, Perfetti, this is your last chance. Perfetti's playing with McIntyre and Lindholm. Crosby's gonna go second line with Panarin and Pavelski. And we're putting Lysel, Beck, Fiala, Afanasev, Stenberg, Moore. There we go. There's our lineup. That's going to be our lineup for this next game. Crosby needs to have a, a reduced role, I suppose. And Perfetti's going to get his last chance to score some points with McIntyre and Lindholm as the scorers on this line. McIntyre, you haven't been impressing me, buddy. This is your chance. Play, Perfetti, you're the playmaker. Let's go. If not, I think the second line becomes the first line. The first line becomes parts of the middle six. That's what we're going to do. And on defense, plus six, plus two. Negative six from Girard. No, Girard, you can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I'm moving you down. Romanov, Ramirez on the second pair. Pesci, negative four. Girard and Pesci on the third pair. This is your last chance, Girard. Greaves, 896 save percentage. Those power play goals are a killer. If there is ever a time to give Kosa a start, it's right now. I'm, give, I'm going Kosa. If there is ever a time to give him a start, it's right now. On the road, we made some changes. Game two. Let's wake up, gentlemen. Red alert. Rogers place. Game two, round three. Let's wake up and show some scoring that top six. First period, 2-1. Let's go. Man, we're, yeah, we're still here, Cam. We're still here. Fabian Lysel, that's good on the third line. Power play goal from, from Darnell Nurse. They love those power play goals here in Edmonton. And Pavelski keeps on scoring. That's his sixth of the playoffs. 2-1 Starfleet after 20. Second period, 2-1 it remains. Shots are 24-19 for the Oilers, but we still hold a one-goal lead. Third period action now. I'm looking at the top six with... with I'm looking with lasers from the press box. Let's go. Halfway through the third, no scoring. We're holding our own into the final five minutes. Come on now, scoring top six. Final two minutes, final minute. Pavelski adds the empty netter. Sebastian Kosa, welcome back. 33 saves on 34 shots. Oh my goodness, we win three to one with Pavelski scoring twice, including the empty netter. Kosa, first star with 33 saves. Welcome back, Sebastian Kosa. Whoo! Okay, we have a 1-1 one, one series now. We have a 1-1 one, one series. 3-1. I'm going to give that top line one more game, and that's it. One more game, and that is it for the top line, before Perfetti and McIntyre are on, like, the third line. Let's do it. We're back at home now. Kosa's starting again. We're back at home for game three, with the series tied at one, just like the last two series. 1-1 one, one through two games. I've seen enough. Kosa for Conn Smythe. Thank you, Cam. Let's do it. First period in San Francisco, 3-1 Starfleet. Yes, finally. Crosby opens it up on the second line. McDavid ties it up. Trevor Moore, welcome to the party. And Cole Perfetti on the first line answers the call to do something. Shots 13-11 through 20. We're up 3-1. Second period, 4-1 Otto Stenberg. There we go. Three goal lead here in the third. Finally, that's what we've been looking for from this team. Finally. The defensive pairings getting swapped around probably helped as well. Four, we'll make it 5-1. Power play goal are Temi Panarin, and we will take a 2-1 series lead after a scary game one loss. Hepanyemi scores to make it 5-2. We're up by three with five minutes to go, and that'll be enough to call it a day. Shots 41-34. to Final few minutes here, power play. And it ends 5 to the final. Shots 41-34. No shots in the power play there? Kosa, back-to-back -back games of first star honors. Moore and Stenberg, second and third star with a goal and an assist apiece. And we win to make it a 2-1 semifinal. Whew, really, Kosa really heard me and took it personally. Sorry, sir. Here's my wallet. Thank you, Joe. That's what we like. That's what Kosa likes. That, that's what we like to hear. Now, Kosa would like to see... What's his jersey number? 30-something? A $30 donation? No, <laughs> just kidding. All right. Uh, down in the AHL. How are things looking down there? Uh, we're in the Calder Cup final. Hey, look at that. Calder Cup final. For the uh, for our team down in Sweden, over in Sweden, 
All right, we're going to keep the lines the same. We're going to keep rolling the same way. Let's do it. Uh, is it 2015? Pretty much. He had s seven goals and 12 points in round one in five games. Yeah, it's vintage Sid. Let's go. First period, one nothing Starfleet. Jalen Ramirez. Uh, once again, outshot 13-11, to 11, but up one nothing. Second period, 1-1. One, one, Ryan Nugent Hopkins ties it up. Shots are 26-20. to 20. Outshot by a fair enough margin, but we're tied at one heading into the final period. Uh, no problem. Thank you, Doggy. Much love to you. Enjoy the meal. Hope we're still alive when you come back. If not, you can catch up later. Thanks for being here. Joe Pavelski! The veterans are coming through! 2-1 Starfleet with 10 minutes to go. Could that be enough? Joe Pavelski puts us up by one with now 5 minutes to go. Final two minutes, Sebastian Kosa stands on his head! Wow! Not do you, it's, it's not do you know do you need to know which goalie to play. You need to know which goalie to play and when. Which goal not just which goalie to have, but which goalie to play and when. 39 saves on 40 shots from Sebastian Kosa. Three consecutive starts, three consecutive first star honors. Captain America. Joe Pavelski getting the game winner as well. Oh my goodness. 2-1 Starfleet. From down 1-0. Oh, Romanov's sore foot out for a week. Ah, that's too bad. From down 1-0 in the series to now up 3-1 in the series. We won three consecutive with Sebastian Kosa between the pipes. Uh, Gerard, I don't want to put you back up there, Gerard. Uh, negative 7. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ramirez... It's tough with the Americans. Hudson and Ramirez are the Americans. <laughs> you talking to me? It's tough. We can't bring up Pesci. I guess Gerard has to play with Ramirez. But I don't like that. Sore foot missing a week of postseason games. Uh, Drew Doughty comes in now. Mr. Postseason Drew Doughty. Last year in the playoffs, what did Drew Doughty do again last year? Eight points plus three in 24 games. Drew Doughty, here's your chance, my friend. <sighs> Unless Drew Doughty plays second pair, we could do Drew Doughty second pair. You know what? We are. Gerard, you've been that bad. You've been that bad. And Kosa with his 940 save percentage. Wow. All right, let's go back to it. Drew Doughty, welcome to the lineup. Romano's going to be out for a couple games here. The Devils are also up three games to one. Will we meet them in the Stanley Cup Final? They got to finish it off, and we got to finish it off. From down one nothing in the series, we've won three in a row, and now we can end it here in Edmonton in Game 5, back in Edmonton at Rogers Place. Uh, so I go outside from time to time, switch from laptop to phone, and just a fun fact, mobile is actually two seconds faster. You know what? You're not wrong, because I also, I always keep the stream open on my uh, on my computer next to me, and it is a, I do notice how it's a bit slower on the computer than on the, on the mobile. Interesting point to note there, eh, Joe? Gerard and Pesci got to brush up on a few different languages they'll have to learn for their uh, world tour coming up, for depending on where, where, where they will get ice time. All right, game five, round three, looking to punch our ticket to a third consecutive Stanley Cup final. Here we go. First period, 0-0 zero, zero after 20. Shots 14-11. to 11. Similar shot uh, patterns last few games in the first period. 14-11 for the Oilers through 20. Second period now, 2-0 San Francisco, Lindholm and Doughty! There he is, Drew Doughty! He wants another cup! Wow, he came over as a cap dump in the Kevin Fiala trade, and he's looking for another Stanley Cup ring now. The captain opens up scoring the second period, and Drew Doughty comes just less than a minute after that. 2-0 Starfleet heading into the third period, looking to close it out and punch our ticket to the Stanley Cup final. 3-0 Avery McIntyre! Welcome, Professor! 3-0... Could Kosa get first star honors again? Wow, the Kunlun Red Stars are excited to announce their two newest signings. <laughs> Dreisaitl breaks the shutout, unfortunately. We're still up by two. Up by three again as Fiala restores the three-goal lead. 4-1 lead with the final three minutes now. Two minutes. Final minute. We're going to hop in and see it, ladies and gentlemen. We are punching our ticket to a third consecutive Stanley Cup final. And Sebastian Kosa comes and takes over the crease. Four consecutive games of what? One goal against or less? Incredible. That's your team, RJ? <laughs> Classic. 99 offense for our ratings as well. From down one nothing in the series to winning four in a row. How about that for, an, for a semifinal? Dowdy blocked five shots tonight. Dowdy, what a monster. Wow. Lysel looking for more? No. 
for an expansion team in years three, four, and five. The San Francisco Starfleet expansion team has reached the Stanley Cup Final. Excuse me, the hiccups are coming in here. Stanley Cup Final. Look at those pads from COSA. Great. Nice Vancouver pads. Is that it? Oh my goodness, we've done it. Years three, four, and five of this franchise's history making it to the Stanley Cup Final. What's with that goalie's face? What's going on? What's with the... Oh, that's so weird. The visors were off. We are through. Crazy pads. Lindholm and McDavid shaking hands. Battle of Alberta veterans. Kosa and Skinner shaking hands. And here comes... Oh, there's no award. That's true because there's no conference. not a conference final. It's a semi-final. Because there's no uh, Prince of Wales or uh, Campbell. So shots end 36 to 31. We can't see the three stars. Uh, you know, Starfleet and Floor, four, you were close enough. We swept just a gentleman's sweep. That's what, not a sweep, but a gentleman's sweep. And we'll be facing the New Jersey Devils, ladies and gentlemen. Have we faced the Devils yet? Let me see. Have we faced the Devils? We have not. No. So we are, we are yet to face the Devils. So it's a, it's a whole postseason of firsts, aside from the Islanders there. Green pads with yellow jerseys. Surely he just got traded there, I guess. Kinda. Not really. It's a set. Yeah, he was here last season. He was got traded here last season. So both teams in the semifinal win their respective series in five games. Whew. And now we're facing the 44, 30, and 8 New Jersey Devils. They were the 13th ranked team. Yeah, wow. So the Devils beat the 4th ranked Maple Leafs in six, of course. The 12th ranked uh, Wild in six, and the ninth ranked Flyers in five. We've beaten the sixth place Blues, sorry, the 14th place Islanders in five, the sixth place Blues in seven, and the second place Oilers in five. So definitely we're the odds on favorite. The third seed versus the 13th seed here in the Stanley Cup final. This is the first time, this would be the first time we make the Stanley, that we would win the Stanley Cup without being a wild card team. Because last year we won the Stanley Cup as a wild card team. And two years ago, when we made the Stanley Cup as a non uh, Stanley Cup final, as a non wild card team, we lost uh, the Stanley Cup. So it's our third consecutive trip in our fifth season as a franchise. Um, and we are one and one in our franchise's history. So 22 points through 17 games. Panarin now leads the team in points. The Conn Smythe winner from last year. Uh, Leafs out round one. That's true. Exactly, Cam. Take it back. Our Conn Smythe winner last season with 16 goals and 35 points in 24 games. He now has 22 and 17. Uh, of course. <laughs> Sidney Crosby with 21. He slowed down, but he's still up there. Joe Pavelski loves the top six. 43-year-old Joe Pavelski. Has he won a Stanley Cup? Has he ever gotten a cup? No, eh? No. Joe Pavelski still looking for his first cup. Seventh round pick in 2003. What now, 20, is it 25, 24 years later, 25, 24 seasons later, 25 years later, right, Lindholm 15 and 17, Fiala 14, Lysel 11, McIntyre only 6 goals, 10 points in 17 games, Cole Hudson 9 points plus 11, finally, Gerard 8 points, negative 6, he was a plus 1 in game 5 there, Trevor Moore 7 points, negative 3, Guliev 7 points, plus 7, Perfetti, six points, negative four. He's done better on the top line. Stenberg, six points, plus four. So the guy plays 12 more minutes per night, and Stenberg has the same amount of points in five less games. Is that not crazy? World Travelers, the top six point scorers, no? All different. Yeah, you're right, eh? You're right. Russian, Canadian, American, Swedish, Swiss. One, two, three, four, five. Because then is Lysel, yeah, he's Swedish as well. So there you go, five. Top five are all different nation nationalities. Yeah. Uh, so Stenberg has the same, same amount of points in five less games. My adventures are taking me to Walmart. Are we still alive? Yes, Hobbsy. From We lost game one in the semifinal to the Oilers. We put Sebastian Kosa in net. He won four in a row and we won in five games. Kosa is now four and one, but he, had, he won four in a row since we turned to him. 944 save percentage, 2.15 goals against average. Last year, it was Kosa who got us far enough, and then Forsberg finished it off. This year, it's Greaves who got us far enough. Now Kosa's trying to figure, finish it off, reversing roles. 
So yeah, crazy just to say about Stenberg. He's been simulating super well. Ramirez, four goals, five points, plus three in 17 games. Beck, four points. Defina Sayev, three. Romanov, two in 16. Pesci, two points, negative three. Dowdy, one game, one goal. Incredible. One game, one shot, one goal. And the game winner, Drew Dowdy, one game played. One game, one shot, one goal, one game winner, plus one. 15, 14 of ice time. Five blocks crazy crazy uh no points from captain in through five games all right sergeant postseason dowdy we're gonna promote him to commander uh let's check out the lines quickly for the devils and now here we are in the stanley cup final pretty making good time here hour 45 for the stanley cup final making good time here let's check out the devils lineup here new jersey devils let's see he sheer hughes uh, yeah. Ooh, first line, Bratt, Hughes, and Meyer. My goodness. Second line, Holtz, Mercer, and Garland. For a third line, 40-year-old Brad Marchand with Roger McQueen and Nino Niederreiter. Fourth line, Frederic Goudreau, Tyson Jost, and William Carrier. Defense, Siegenthaler with Hamilton, Nemich with Luke Hughes, Essa Lindell, former Starfleet officer, right? Yeah, former Starfleet officer, Essa Lindell, with the Devils playing with Adam Yerichek. Goaltending, it is Vitek Vanacek with a 904 save percentage. Okay. Backed up by Akira Schmid. Pacioretty, former Starfleet officer, Max Pacioretty, who got a Stanley Cup with us last year. Uh, as a healthy scratch, same for Guinet and Ian Mitchell. So let's see the points here. Uh, Jesper Bratt, woo! Jesper Bratt, 27 points I saw. 27 points in 17 games from Jesper Bratt. Wow, Jack Hughes with 24 points in 17 games, and Timo Meyer with 17 points. And no Brian, no 40-year-old Brian Elliott. Garland, 5 goals, 10 points. Dawson Mercer with 19 points. Holtz with 20 points, 10 goals, 20 points from Alex Holtz. Wow. 12 goals and 17 points, of course. Point per game, Brad Marchand, 40-year-old. The 40-year-olds, Marchand versus Pavelski and Crosby. Whoa, two goals and 18 points from Roger McQueen as third-line center. Nita Ryder, seven. Kathy with six. Jost, Rudrow. Defense, Siegenthaler is a plus 12. Hamilton has 13 points and is a plus 11. 10 points, plus six for Luke Hughes. Plus five, plus nine, plus 12. So great plus minus. Solid top line and top six. But a shaky goaltender, I will say. Shaky goaltending. So last year, in the, two years ago in the Stanley Cup Final, we lost in six games. Last year, we won in five games. Now, here we are once again. Now, there would be time, Myla. There would be time, but I want to make sure we slow down and make sure that people who have suggestions or whatever else about the offseason can put their thoughts on Discord or on YouTube. So even though there's time, I'd probably stop it. I will stop it after the postseason. Game one of the 2028 Stanley Cup Final. In our fifth year of existence, we are now in our third consecutive Stanley Cup Final. What a team this is. Let's finish the job, gentlemen. We've drawn the line. We drew that line after game one against the Oilers. We drew that line. Sebastian Kosa came in. Kosa said, hey, hold on. Let's set the stage here. Here we go. Game two against the Oilers. We turn to Kosa. He addresses the team. Boys. Some of you, you know, even a lot of you, a lot of you were here last year, and we did something special last season. You remember that? People nodding, nodding to each other. It was something really special. Fourth year, Stanley Cup champions. We're back again. Do you remember what we said to one another? Do you remember what we said to one another? This far and no further... This far and no further. Let's go, boys. Let's go, Kosa. Okay, here we go. And then the, the Starfleet can proceed to win three in a row as Kosa comes in the crease, stands on his head, allows what? One goal a game? Two, one, and one. Allows, what? Two, three, four goals in three games. And here we are. We've drawn the line. This far and no further, said Captain Picard. Game one at Enterprise Arena. Third consecutive Stanley Cup final, 2028 final, game five, first period, round four, let's do it. First period, Whoa, what? Oh, come on, Kosa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa, 5 2 after 20. Timo Meyer scores twice, Marshall on the, Marshall on the power play, 3 0 Devils. Perfetti, and then Kosa gets pulled after three goals. 
Perfetti scores to make it 3-1. Hamilton makes it 4-1. Fiala makes it 4-2. Then Nemich restores the three-goal lead. 5-2 Devils. Shots 12-11. 23... So seven goals on 23 shots in this first period. Wow, Greaves is in. All right, let's see. Let's do it, Greaves. We're down by three with two periods to play. Second period. <laughs> Whoa! Seven to two. This is not like us. This is not like us. Mercer and Marchand, we're down seven to two. Those were late goals as well. No, it was 45 seconds. Eight to two. Nine to two. Whoa! With 15 minutes still to play. I cannot remember the last time we allowed nine or ten goals here. Power plays killed off. Guliev scores. That's fun. Whoa. <laughs> the Joker arc part two. Dawson, no mercy. Tenth goal for the Devils. There it is. Jinxed it. <clears throat> Hamilton makes it ten. Whoa! Whoa la la! 35 to 30, the shots end. 10 3 Devils win. Woo -hoo -hoo. Whoa. Somehow, Hudson and Guliev were plus one in this game. And Fiala, Panarin, and Lysel were an even plus minus. Negative five from Drew Doughty. Negative fours from Ramirez and Moore. Negative threes from Gerard and McIntyre. Goaltending. Seven forty ones. Three goals on eight shots against Kosa. Seven goals on 27 shots against Greaves. So Greaves can ne definitely not start next game, but can Kosa start next game? That was something. Five assists from Jack Hughes. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow. Romanov should be back soon as well. Wow. Now, Greaves is definitely not starting next game, but does Kosa start the next game? Drew Doughty, buddy. Negative five? That was something. That was really something. Meech just played a little bit. Has he... Meech has been playing this postseason? What, who is this guy? He's 4 0 1 with a 953 save percentage. That's a 69 overall. Wesley Meech, who he couldn't dump for a seventh round pick. You know what? Meep, 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 meep. Let's do it. Wesley Meech. Everybody, leave a meep in the chat. Leave a meep in the chat if you're excited. Let's get Wesley Meech in here for game two. Just game two. And if it doesn't work out, we go back to Kosa. But if there's ever a time to try something, it's now. Forget calling him up for game seven of that of going back in the save files later. We're not going to do that anymore. Now we're calling up Meep. Now you leave a Meep in the chat. Let's go. There we go. Get the Meeps. Get the Meeps going. Let's go. Meep, 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 Meep. Uh, Oliver Kappen is going to get sent down here. Everyone got... Okay. Sorry. Meech coming up. Kapanen going down. Yes. Or is it... Yeah, okay, yeah, because okay, everybody's healthy. That was in, that last game was entirely miserable. Got those... Meep, 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 meep. Come on, get the meeps going! Uh, Miko will be backed up by Eminen, which is fine. Eminen has been doing, doing well himself. Kosa. We're not saying goodbye to Kosa. I think we're pretty much saying goodbye to Greaves. But we're not saying goodbye to Kosa. Wesley Meech. 22-year-old Wesley Meech, 6th round pick in 2024. I forget how we even got him. Uh, a toss-in in some sort of trade, I suppose. Meepola. 10-9-4 in the AHL this year. Last year in the USA system, before I guess as an unsigned prospect, he didn't even play that much. That's a backup in, in a, on a college team or something. Play with, with uh, uh, Amherst or something. What is it? Massachusetts? One of those... He played backups in one of those colleges. Uh, in the AHL this year, nothing special. Last year in the AHL, 0-1-0, with good, actually good numbers there too. And this year in the AHL playoffs, 4-0-1 with a 953 save percentage. Wesley Meech is getting a chance to, to, to see if the EA Voodoo can carry him through. Six foot one, West 22-year-old Wesley Meech making his NHL debut in Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Final at home. How about that? Let's go. Leave a meep in the chat. Leave a like if you haven't already. Game two of the Stanley Cup final. Worst case, we go back to Kosa. This is after such a horrible loss. Now's the time to do it. Let's wake up for the, his first ever shot again. <laughs> two goals on three shots. Hold on. Let's get the. Okay, okay. It's 2 2. Okay, it's 2 2. Wow. You know, it fits the story. It fits the story. Uh, Wesley Meech allows a goal on the first ever shot he ever faces. 
and then a lot, and then a power play goal on the third ever shot he faces. So his first three shots went goal against, save, goal against. But then he finds a way to make some saves now. Two goals and 14 shots. Pavelski gets a goal for us, and then McIntyre ties it up just like 30 seconds after. So four goals within the first three minutes, then 17 minutes of nothing. Shots are double, 14 to 7 for the Devils, but we're tied at two after 20. Um... NHL debut saying, yeah, quite the story, eh? All right, let's see if we can get Meep this down to the Data 72 Hall of Fame here. We're allowing so many shots on Meep. Come on! Of course, he's going to allow a goal. Three on 25 is not bad. Where are our shots? Power play Starfleet now. Come on! Killed off by the Devils. Two minutes to go. Power play once again. Killed off late. All right, shots are 28 21. We're only down by one. We're only down by one. Let's go, boys. Do it for Meep. Let's go. Let's do it for Wesley Meech. Kevin Fiala ties it at three. And then uh, Timmy Panarin answers the call. We're up four to three. Power play Devils killed off. Power play San Francisco killed off as well. We're up by one. Timo Meyer completes the hat trick. 4-4 four, four game halfway through. The shots, we've got a ton of shots there. We're back to pulling even on the shots. 34-34. Five minutes to go with this game tied at four as well. Final two minutes. Do we have a hero late? 12 seconds. We're off to overtime. Wow. Shots end 37-36. to 36. Meech is holding his own. But we got to finish it off for Wesley. Finish it for Wesley. Let's go. Win for Wesley. <sighs> overtime in game two of the Stanley Cup final. What a story. 71 goal tending. Wesley Meech. A goal for us ties the series up, up at one, just like the rest of our series through rounds one, two, and three through two games. A goal for the Devils puts them up two games and has them win both out on the road. Cole Hudson coming in there after that face-off win. Shot on net. Vanacek hangs on. Crash in the net. No one's there pushing away. Okay, all right. Vanacek makes that save. Love seeing the Stanley Cup patch there in the Starfleet jerseys too. I want to see that. 34 points from Jesper Bratt, 33 from Jack Hughes. No matter what happens, you'd think that they're lost for the con Smythe. Offensive zone faceoff here. Perfetti loses that one. Hamilton gets rushed, but he makes the pass before he has to make a decision too quickly. Here's Bratt. Over to Hughes on net. Big save, Meech. Very good. Bratt poked away. Here comes Perfetti now. Cole Perfetti over to Lindholm. Now here comes Hudson. Windmill losing possession. Luke Hughes over to Jack Hughes. Hughes coming in. Nice move by Jack Hughes, but can't uh, can't keep possession of the puck, really, as he went through some skates. Dougie Hamilton now. Hamilton not being pressured. Makes a decision. Over to Jack Hughes. Gets a shot on net, and Meech makes the save. Horrible defense there. Let's get the second line and second defensive pair out. Playoff demon. Timo Meyer throwing the body a lot as well. Alright, Sidney Crosby. He's been we've been quiet. That's true. We've heard a lot of Pavelski, but Crosby's been quiet. Alright, Devils in the face off. Broken up. There's Big Joe. 43-year-old Joe Pavelski. He has some space. Shoot, Joe! Glove save Vanacek. You know, I forgot that we gotta we gotta change the sliders, of course. Always the sliders. Uh edit lines. We haven't heard much from Sid the Kid, though. Yeah, let's get the, the sliders out. Come on. Make sure everybody's shooting the puck. That's how we win these games. Make sure we're shooting the puck. There we go. High shooting. Alright, there we go. So Pavelski, good push there. Hamilton was skating in the opposite direction. Didn't want to stop him. Got a shot on, but Vanacek made the glove save. Panarin, Crosby, and Pavelski are out. Possibly our best line, really. The second line's out. Offensive zone faceoff. Crosby versus Mercer. A couple of Atlantic boys, but Mercer wins it. Hughes over to Hamilton. Dougie Hamilton coming up with it. Over to Alex Holtz. Deeks nobody. Deeks again. This time you get through, but Dowdy breaks it up. Now here's Dowdy up to Crosby. A little Team Canada chemistry. Crosby with a move. He still has it. On net. Stopped by Vanacek. Oh, weird play through the crease. Okay. Garland across the red line. Now here's Mercer. Gets stopped up. Hold on. Okay, now Crosby's going to retain possession. Pavelski, Panarin. Let's go, Petson. Up, 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 Petson. Good, Panarin. Dowdy. Pavelski. Let's go. Shoot, Pavelski. Over to Dowdy. Can't get through. Vanacek will hang on. And let's get the third line out with the first defensive pair. Come on, we need a goal here, boys. We need a goal. Lysel, Beck, and Fiala are out. Let's go. Wins it back. Beck. Over to Lysel. Through traffic. Oh, stopped by Vanacek. How do you get a glove on that? You can barely see it. With Hudson and Goliath at the point. 
with this third line. Back and Mercer going at it. Owen back wins the draw. Back to Guliev. Stopped by Vanacek. Back still has it. There you go. Back. Lysel the point. Guliev can't make it through traffic. Hamilton behind the net. Hold on. Power play. No. That was to us. Two for slashing to Owen back. Great. Two for slashing for Owen back. Oh my goodness. It's real music but not the songs in the game. <laughs> What a weird glitch play. Alright, you gotta kill this one now. <sighs> Defensive zone draw. Devils one between the power play tonight. We win that one. Gerard up to Perfetti. Good, 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 good. Perfetti, kill some time in there. A little windmill on that! Okay! We made the Vanchek go sprawling for it. Here at Perfetti. Gerard, that's... The no, Gerard, no! 2 on 0. Oh. Here's McQueen! Scores! Gerard, you're done. You're done, Gerard. That was his final play as a member of the San Francisco Starfleet. What are you doing, Sam Gerard? Meech, you, you don't want to put your glove out there? Keeping his glove tucked into his, uh, into his chest? Shots end 43 to 39. And we leave Meech out to dry. Alright, we're gonna go back to Kosa. But Gerard's done. Especially, unless Romanov's not healthy. Hold on, maybe Gerard play. No, I, I want to say he's done. <laughs> At least healthy scratch him for a game here. He is 69 overall. <laughs> okay, Kosa starting. Meech had a 930... F no, sorry, that's in the AHL. I was going to say, whoa, hold on. Uh, Romanov, playable injury. Yeah, Romanov's coming back with a playable injury. You're coming back, buddy. We need you in there. We need you in there. Romanov's coming back. And on the power play, make sure... Yeah, Romanov's going to come out for Hudson. And on the second, it's going to be Guliev. There we go. Yeah, we did. Greaves fell apart a little bit. The last couple games he's played has been, what, six and seven? He allowed six goals, went to Kosa, who won four in a row, allowing two goals or less. Then we, Kosa got pulled. Greaves came in and allowed seven goals. So, yeah, Greaves is finished for now. Uh, who did I say? Guliev. Uh, the problem with moving up Pesci is that we already have two Americans uh, in Hudson and Ramirez. Hudson Ramirez are both Americans. We can't move up Pesci. We're down to nothing in the series, Hobbsy. We tried playing a 69 overall goalie because Kosa needed a, a game off and we didn't want to go with Greaves after he allowed seven goals. But we're going back to Kosa now. Meech will back him up. Uh, and Sam Girard, who gave up the, the goal in overtime, is now going to be a healthy scratch. And Ramon, Romano will come back in the lineup and Dowdy will stay in the lineup. All right, so here we go. Game three at Prudential Center now. Um, I want to wait till Romanov's fully healed, uh, Mila, till we make a decision like that. Let's give it a game like this, and we'll go from there. We're down to nothing in the series against the 13th ranked Devils. Let's get back into it. We need a win right here. We need a big win. This is where we draw that line. We are officially saying this far and no further. This far and no further. Down two games to none in the Stanley Cup final. Let's do it for the chair. Come on, get a few squeaks. Get a few squeaks. There we go. First shot of the game goes in. Roger McQueen's where he left off. First shot against Kosa goes in. Incredible. Ah! <laughs> Come on! Four goals on 16 shots against Kosa. After he allowed one goal against, one goal against, two goals against. Four goals on 15 shots in the first period. McQueen, Meyer, Marshawn, Mercer. And Meech is in now. Kosa got pulled even. McIntyre with the lone goal for us. Kosa pulled from his last two starts. Who do we play at this point now? Mikola call up? Second period, we scored twice. Shorthanded goal for McIntyre. <laughs> Thanks, RJ. You heard the groan. Beck makes it 4 to 3, but then Meyer extends the lead again. 5 3 Devils. 5 3 Devils. We're not done yet. We're down by 2 here in the third. Let's go, boys. This far and no further. Let's have a little bit of a passion push here in the third period. Come on now, power play Devils. 
Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Take double minors. Take yeah, that's it. Power play goal. Power play goal. That's it. That's it. Take three consecutive. Cole Perfetti, you're killing me. We score a late goal. That's nice. Cole Hudson scores. And we lose six to four. Who do we play in net at this point? Who do we play? Meech, three goals on 29 shots. Kosa, three goals on nine shots. Who do we play? Down three games to none. In the Calder Cup final. Oh, they won the Calder Cup! Do we call up Mikola fresh off a Calder Cup victory? 32 points for Consta Hellenius, by the way. 32 points in 22 games, and the AIK squad over in Sweden wins the Calder Cup. At least there's some good news. 32 points from Hellenius, 21 points in 20 games from Haikila. Nico Sturm scored 21 points. Christian Knight, the Crusader, 18 points in 22 games. Emelin, 16. Mark Giordano, 13 points at the age of 44. And Mikula was 10 3 and 2 with a 918 save percentage. Mikula, get on the plane, buddy. Get on the plane. JP, I don't disagree that Greaves would probably be the guy we'd go to. I don't want Meech, I don't want Kosa. But I also don't want Greaves. So I think we give a game to Mikola and we give him a little test drive here for if he's going to be in the NHL next season. Um, but I'll have maybe Greaves backs him up. I don't know. Has, ever, has any goalie ever won the Stanley Cup and the Calder Cup in the same? No, I don't think so. Mikola comes up. Meech will go down. Nah, Mark, you're not going to get me through propaganda. I won't believe you. <laughs> Perfetti, negative six with 21 penalty minutes. Yeah, he took those two minor penalties. Yeah. Perfetti, you're done. Perfetti, fourth line. Watch this. Perfetti, fourth line. Panarin, Crosby, and Pavelski has been incredible. They're going first line. Crosby, Panarin, and Pavelski on the first line. McIntyre, Lindholm... And do we go Moore or Fiala? Moore, four goals, 13 points. Yeah, Fiala. Justin Hall. <laughs> Bad memories. McIntyre, Lindholm, Fiala. That's true, Moore couldn't even go. He can't play with McIntyre. Lysel, Beck, Stenberg. Beck took the penalty that lost us the game, but that was a bad, a glitchy penalty anyways. Or does Moore move up and Stenberg... No, this is it. Plus three on the fourth line. Why not? This is it. There's our lineup for Desperation. Desperation lineup time. Plus 11, plus 6. Even plus minus, negative 1. Plus 4, negative 4 for Brett Pesci. Do we call up Mark Giordano and send down Brett Pesci? Come on now. Yuha Mikola, our third round pick in 2025, going to make his NHL debut here. In game four of the Stanley Cup final. How about talk about pressure? Do we call up one of these guys in the AHL? Damon Hunt, a lot of penalty minutes. Mark Giordano, do we call him up? But Stenberg Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, we do have that that rule. Stenberg Lysel can play together. I, I, already made that mis I, I already made that mistake before. Um I guess more comes up then, as much as I don't want to. No, it's too heavy on the playmaking, maybe? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's when you know it's desperation mode when I say, you know what? <laughs> uh, no, Profeta, you've been so bad, I can't trust you for anything. Do we take Pesci? Pesci was a huge reason why we had success last year. He was injured in the postseason, came back, and had was a plus 11 in 11 games. Yeah, I heard about that from Crosby. Crosby was disappointed. Yeah, I think we're going to call up Giordano. Giordano and Dowdy can play together in the, a, from the, in the, in the NHL. 44-year-old Mark Giordano. Hasn't played in the NHL since... Oh, he played three games. Oh, that's true. He played three games. This season with us. One assist and, and uh, two minor penalties. Or one uh, double minor. Unless we call up Moogly. 
who's going to be in the team next year. We could give Mulia a test drive. But usually, no, it's not good to put rookies, usually. I, I, I say that as we're putting Nicola. Yeah, Giordano's going to come up. Why not? We're in desperation mode. Giordano's going to come up. Can we just call him up? No, and who's going down? Uh, I guess Cunning's going down, then. HL lines, best lines, doesn't matter. They put Haikil in the fourth line. Crazy. In the NHL, Romano's going to play on the right, and Mark Giordano will play for the Stanley Cup. Plus three on the third pair. Love it. Has he ever won his cup, Giordano? Uh, no. Stanley Cup lists. 61, only 61 postseason games in his career. Mark Giordano pushing for that cup. All right. There are the lines, ladies and gentlemen. There are the lines for game four in desperation mode for the Stanley Cup. Here we go. In New Jersey at Prudential Center. We said this far and no further. Were we just saying it or did we mean it? We got to win four. Reverse sweep. It starts now. Game four of the 2028 Stanley Cup Final. Gentlemen, controller down. The stage is yours. Avery McIntyre scores on the second shot of the night. Power play Devils. They take a penalty. We get a power play. That's killed off. McIntyre scores early. Thank you for doing something that top six. Extended power play. No, just regular power play, I think. For us, killed off by the Devils. Five minutes to go here in the first period. Hang on to a one-goal lead. Uh, and that's it. That's it. Uh, I wouldn't be able to. It's, uh, sometimes you gotta make those calls, Hobbsy. Sometimes you gotta make those calls. Shots are 14, 13 through 20. We're up one nothing. No matter what happens, Mikula gets a... He, he, he shuts down the Devils and makes 14 saves for a scoreless first period of his NHL career. At least there's that. This far, no further. Of course, then first shot, first couple shots goes in for Meyer. But then, hold on, Drew Doughty. There's the veteran presence. 2-1 game. As Meyer opened it up, uh, tied it up early, 50 seconds in. Then Lindell, former Starfleet officer, Essa Lindell. After winning the cup with us last year, he wants back-to-back -back cups maroon style here. A player who wins cups on different teams back-to-back -back years. Power play Devils killed off at the end of the period. And that's the end of the second. So, two goals. It was 2-1... Uh, no, sorry. One goal for us in the first period, correct? Yeah, one goal in the first for us. One goal for us in the second, but two goals for the Devils in the second. Mikola's holding his own 35 saves on 37 shots. I thought, shots are 37-23, and we're tied at two. This is our final period, gentlemen. Possibly the final period of Crosby, Dowdy, and Pavelski's careers. The rookie is giving us a chance. Go out there and pay up. Let's go. Repay him for what he's doing. This far and no further, we said. Third period, Game 4, Stanley Cup Final. No scoring through the first... Ah, Timo Meyer's been our kryptonite! Making it 3-2 Devils. Ten minutes to go here in the third period. We'll hop in with five-ish to go. Oh, 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 no! I should have gone in just a sec fraction of a second earlier. 5-0-4 to go. Meyer scores on the power play. Our pony kill's been horrible. Meyer scores on the power play. We're down by two with five to go. We've done crazier things. We've done crazier things in when it goes to, when we go into the simulation. But down by two with five to go. Oh my goodness. Let's get the shooting sliders moving up. Move up those shooting sliders. That first line just doesn't want to shoot. Is that it? Oops. Cycle shoot. There we go. Come on, boys. Come on, fellas. We can do this. Shots are... Sorry, just one more time. Shots are 30, 45 to 34 for the Devils. Can't be blaming Yuho, uh, Yuho Mikula right now. Let's do it. Devils win the faceoff after scoring that goal. Uh, the first line's out, really? No, it isn't. Pavelski, Moore, they're not playing together. Yeah, that's amazing. Or there's an injury somewhere, maybe. Brat picks off that Dowdy pass. Hughes, Meyer, pushed off the puck, but Brat gets it back at the blue line. Meyer can't get through Pavelski. Come on, boys, get it out! Romanov to Pavelski. Okay, make sure the first line's out now. Pavelski. Stops up, gets over to Panarin. Here we go, Artemi on net! Oh, almost the rebound almost goes into his own net. Alright, let's get those shots on net, boys. 
Garland, 2-1-2, two two, stopped up. Good back pass. Pavelski, Panarin, Guliev now. Guliev, let's set something up. I don't want to pull the goalie just yet. Guliev, let's go to Crosby! Stopped in tight. Pavelski, Cole Hudson now at the point. Over to Pavelski, down low. That pass turned into a shot. That uh, Vanacek redirected into the corner. Hamilton coming up now. Dougie over to Connor Garland. He's skating by his man. Gets pushed off. Good. Well done. Let's get the second line out now. Panarin leading the charge on his own. Panarin just shoot, buddy. Of course, he doesn't get it off fast enough. Garland up to Hughes now. Four minutes to go. Go for the puck. Come on, Dowdy. There you go. To Ramirez. Up to Fiala now. On net, Kevin. Gets poked away before he can shoot. I don't know what else I can do to make these guys shoot the puck. Across to Luke, uh, Qu uh, Jack Hughes. Excuse me. Hughes poked away. Too fancy. Ramirez up to Lindholm now. Lindholm skates back, gets away from his man. Very good. We're getting close. I can pull the goalie here. Fiala. McIntyre can't get the shot off. He fans it. All right. We're pulling the goalie here. And uh, we're taking a timeout. No, not yet. No timeout yet. Third line coming out. Full energy. Goalie pulled. No timeout yet. Offensive zone faceoff. Here we go. Owen Beck, win it for me, buddy. Benoit Le Bizou. Let's go. Beck wins the faceoff. Back. To there we go. Panarin left the set play. There you go. Good save by Vanacek. And Vanacek will hang on to that one now. Great set play there by Panarin. Timo Meyer, what a monster out there. Cutter Gotzi on the Flyers in this universe still. Let's go to the faceoff for Beck. Come on, Bizou. Big win from Beck. Big win, Romanov. Lindholm, glove save, Vanacek. He'll hang on again. We're getting the shots off. We're getting the shots off. Beck has won back-to-back faceoffs. Let's run with him again, but I'm going to move third unit defense to first unit defense. Let's get Hudson and Guliev out there instead. Let's go back. Give me one more. Ah, Mercer wins this one. Poked. Hamilton, come on. Keep that puck in. Go after him. Colts. Up to Garland. He's going to skate up with it. Hold on. Broken up by Guliev. Good. Or picked up by Guliev. Beck. Ugh, broken up by Hughes. Three minutes to go. Hughes. Moore has it. Lysel can't get the shot off. That's blocked. Vanacek hangs on. All right. Let's go second line. Before we, Then we'll call a timeout after just a little bit more. Still three minutes to go. The Stanley Cup in attendance. The Devils close to sweeping the San Francisco Starfleet. That will be the first series in franchise history that we're swept out of. We've lost three years, right? Year one, year two, year three, we lost in round one, round two, round w round four, respectively. By seven, by six, and by six. Never even in five. Timeouts just get the energy back up. We lose that face off. Need a rider. Don't let him just skate in. Good. Fiala, we could really use a power play here. Here's Fiala. Poked away, fighting with it. Interesting. Marchand's shot is blocked. Good. Yeah, we set the stamina. Guliev up to Fiala. Let's go. These neutral zone plays. Lindholm. Come on, Lindholm. Windhol win windmill over nobody. On net. Vanacek will hang on. All right. First line's coming out. And now it's time for the, uh, the timeout. Full goalie timeout. All right. Panarin, Crosby, Pavelski. And I believe it'll be McIntyre uh, out there. Panarin in the right-handed shot. Good. Crosby on the dot with his, what, 90... I can't even look at his player stats. With his, he is, He's high on the face-offs. Pavelski there. And the extra attacker as McIntyre. Come on, McIntyre. There we go. Come on, Starfleet. Just to live to fight another day. We need two goals in the last two and a half minutes. We've got to get one quick. Ryan Goalie calling the face-off. Face-off strategy is going to be aggressive as well. I'll change that as well. Classic windmill to nobody to weak backhand shot. Cla it's a real classic, Dan. It's a real classic. Pavelski on the dot here. <clears throat> Offensive zone draw. Crosby wins the face-off to Hudson. To Panarin. Can't get the shot away well. Vanacek will hang on. 2.27 to go. No matter what, Nikola did well. Crosby, Pavelski, Dowdy, Giordano. They gave us a good little run to one last Stanley Cup final for them. Crosby wins a faceoff. Hudson, Guliev, come on, work through it. There you go, fight. McIntyre, Pavelski. What are you doing? 
Mac and here's the leader out of that shot's blocked. Good, we still have life. Crosby with some space. That's in. He skates into the middle. What are you doing, Sid? You have the whole wing open. Marshawn misses the empty net, but Niederreiter. Uh, what are they doing here? Hamilton. One-timer blast. Luke Hughes scores. Just a one-time bomb, and the and the and the bow with the empty netter. Fight him. <laughs> Let's cross-check him in the head, like a la Morgan Riley, right? We had a good run, ladies and gentlemen. A nice run as a young team in our fifth season, our third consecutive trip to the Stanley Cup final. Veterans really pulled through, like Crosby, Panarin, Pavelski. But this offseason, you would think, probably thinking Sam Girard on his way out. Maybe Trevor Moore on his way out. Does Panarin get re-signed? We'll have to think about... And, and if Crosby doesn't retire, maybe we give him another chance. Because we, we want to sign good, high overall players to short-term contracts if we have prospects coming in. Because <clears throat> if we have uh, Hellenius coming up, maybe other players, Stenberg third line minutes, we could see some changes. But Cole, uh, but um, Cole Hudson is probably top pair D next season. Who you know, Pesci probably out as well. A few of the originals are probably out. Pesci, maybe Pesci, Girard, and Moore are all out. I could see an argument for that. On top of one of our goalies. Right. Hold the goalie one last time. No, let's return him. thing. Brat in front. Nico makes the save. 31.3 seconds to go. And Joe comes in with another dono. Crazier things have happened. Let's go Starfleet. You're right! You're right! That's why I'm playing the goalie still a little bit with a little bit of hope. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate that. Another entry for Joe for Joe into our draw for created players with that donation. Thank you. Nemich from the point. That's blocked from traffic. Alright, here we go. Pull the goalie one last time. McIntyre. Fiala. Backhand stop by Vanacek. We'll put the fourth line out. Why not? Cole Perfetti in the fourth line. Let's put him out there. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate you. Next purchase coming up soon with the uh, MLB The Show 24. We'll be live on Tuesday nights with that towards the end of the month. The last two Fridays, of the, the last two Tuesdays of the month will be live for those. Perfetti wins the faceoff. From the point. Can't get that. Gaudi. Over to Stenberg. Nice shot through traffic. Keep it in. There you go. Ramirez. That's, yeah, you spent enough tonight, Hobbsy. Thank you. Restaurant, Walmart. Perfetti! Kick save there. Five seconds left. And for the first time in franchise history, we lose in less than six games as we are swept in the Stanley Cup final by the 13th seed, New Jersey Devils. That top line was too power play. And Dan comes in with the 999. Sometimes it's just not in the cards. Great run, nonetheless. A lot of things to look forward to, both in San Francisco and Vancouver. Even if it wasn't a Stanley Cup victory, this was a postseason to be proud of. We came back and fought back from being down uh, three games to two against the Blues in Game 7. We, we, we fought through and won in, in, uh, in seven there in that series. Jack Hughes wins the Conn Smythe out of St. Louis. Dan with the big dono. Thank you very much, Dan. That's going to be a two-times entry. Two entries for Dan for the draw for creative players. Thank you for kindly, my friend. Ended up buying a couple Mario games. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you spent enough money here. Jack Hughes wins the con Smythe. Who's the captain now? It's not Nico. Oh, it's Dougie Hamilton. Captain Dougie. They were just floating? Classic. Captain Dougie Hamilton raising the cup. Dexter and some other Devils fans will love to see this. Nebraska Diego. Dougie Hamilton wins it and raises the Stanley Cup over his head at Prudential Center in New Jersey. Love to see it for the Devils. I wonder if it asks you who you want to give it to. How they do, eh? But I can't control. No, the game controls it. All right. So shots ended 48 to 45, but Vitek Vanacek stood on his head. He was the goalie with the not-so-good numbers. We took down Sorokin. We took down Skinner with like 930-plus save percentages, but 
He got, didn't he have like an 890 something? Ah, oh, boy, we lose in a four game series. We scored some goals, but hey, at least we won the Calder Cup Championship as well. Mikula did well, and Panarin 24 points in 21 games. A lot of positives to take away from this season, from this postseason as well. Crosby 21 points in 21 games. Pavelski 20 and 21 from 43 year old. Is there a stream or something on Tuesday? Oh no, no stream this Tuesday. I actually, I'm, I'm booked this Tuesday in my personal life. But then, as soon as uh, I think it comes out on a Tuesday. So the, ne the next two Tuesdays after that, starting next Tuesday, every Tuesday. Uh, yeah, so Tuesday, the March March 19th, when it comes out, is when we'll have a the show 24. Then that'll be an overview. Then the 26th will be the first episode of our new series. Yeah. Pavelski at 43. Fiala, 17 points. Lindholm, 17. McIntyre, 10 goals, 14 points. Lysel, 14. Hudson, 13 points, plus 7. Perfetti, 10 points, negative 6. Gouliev, 9 points, plus 3. Girard, 9 points, negative 9 in 19 games. Beck, 8 points. Moore, 7 points, negative 7. Probably time to move on from Trevor Moore. Uh, who's, he's an expiring player. We'll probably uh, Maybe it's an extent. We'll definitely sign and trade, though, I would think. We can give him, we'll give him a big payday and then to make sure it's locked in, then trade him away maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Or we just trade his rights and try not to cheese it too much or let him just walk to free agency. We could do that as well. So, yeah, we don't need to cheese it. It's not necessarily cheese, but you, you know what I'm saying. Stenberg, six points. Ramirez, five. Romanov, three plus five in 18 games. I found a save, three assists. Pesci, two points, negative four. Uh, Greaves was 886. Kosa ended 919, both with above three goals against average. Mikula won the Calder Cup and then in the NHL was, had a 914 save percentage. And then Meech in the NHL had uh, an 882 save percentage. So we, we ran through four different goalies and none could have consistent good consistent numbers. Yeah, Girard and, and uh, Moore seem to be the most likely. Especially depending on who's available in free agency. We had Giordano as well. Mark Giordano in the postseason. He was a plus one. There you go. With, with a minor penalty as well, though. Oh, boy. Let's check out the awards now. All right. So, down in the end. So, NHL, Stanley Cup champions, New Jersey Devils. Colorado Avalanche won the President's Trophy this season. Sorry, looking at the individual awards now. McKinnon wins the Art Ross and the Hart. James Norris going to Makar in back-to-back -back years. Lady Bing goes to Zegris. Calder goes to Brodeur on the Kings. Conn Smythe to Jack Hughes. Vezina to Spencer Knight. Back-to-back Vezinas with the goalie that we traded away, who could never do anything with us, of course. Uh, I could see that. I could see that, Tobzy. And then here comes Joseph with the 499. Tough not to sell off most of the squad for free agency. Three straight cup runs is incredible, though. Joseph with the 499. That is an entry for you, my friend, into the created player draw. Thank you very much. Your name has been noted. Spencer Knight there. And back to uh, and just uh, one year of Jennings for him. Lane Hudson wins the Bill Masterton, doing great things at the Children's Hospital in Montreal. Coach of the Sharks gets the Jack Adams. Selkie, the new Barkov trophy, goes to Barkov. Ted Lindsay to McKinnon and Maurice Richard to McKinnon. AHL JVR, there he is. Any AHL awards? Uh, Haikila won the Americ the AHL equivalent of the Calder. Very good. Hellenius won the equivalent of the Conn Smythe. And JVR cleaned up. My goodness. Thanks, Joseph. I am getting more and more um, uh, confident that we can pay for these games coming up with the microphone in the chair recently and all that. So the Devils, as the 13th seed, wow, go all the way to win the Stanley Cup here in 2028. We had a great run. We took down the second seed in five games, but then lost and got swept by the 13th seed. 13th seed, but, you know, they had still had a 44-win season. So we're going to advance to the draft. Yeah, we'll advance to the draft now. Then we'll see who's still here, who's retired, who's available, who's coming up in free agency. Let's start thinking about the off-season plan, ladies and gentlemen. I know Cheating Heels going to have a comment to write for that. Jensi McKenzie, I'm sure, as well. Uh, LA keeps the first overall pick. It was a solid run. You gotta be proud of three consecutive runs to Stanley Cup Final in five years as a young team. Now, is any, are any of those f like four players retiring? You would think a few of Giordano, Dowdy, Crosby, and Pavelski. Let's see. Sidney Crosby, Joe Pavelski, Zach Parise, even who was in our system, 
All retiring. Brad Marchand with the Devils retires with his cup. So Sidney Crosby, he came and finished his career in San Francisco. Ends 20 points shy of 2,000. 749 goals and 1,231 assists for 1,980 points in 1,601 NHL games. Sidney Crosby, what a career from 2005 to 2028. Take a bow, sir. Take a bow. Thank you for doing what you did here in San Francisco. Spending his entire career with Pittsburgh, but then just 19 games with San Francisco for one last shot of the cup. And he did get a Stanley Cup final. In the playoffs, 278 points in 248 games. What, four Stanley Cup rings or something? I was hoping we had a full year of Crosby, too. Patrick Kane retires. Stamkos. Pavelski, who was great, 43 years old. Drafted in 2003 as a seventh-round pick. Wow. So going from San Jose to Dallas. Then spending the last few years between the Devils, the Jets, the Kings, and the Starfleet squad. 166 points in 217 games, but still... Two Stanley Cup Finals, no Stanley Cups for Pavelski, who retires with 1,344 points in 1,658 games. Parise retires with 928 points at the age of 43 as well, also a 2003 draft pick. Any other players? Pacioretty, who retired as a Stanley Cup champion with us, both with us and the Devils, technically. Back-to-back -back Cups for him and for Lindell. Uh, JVR retires as a, a monster down in the AHL. Dowdy. Dowdy retires... Drew Doughty, the former first-round pick in 2008. Uh, we picked him up as a cap dump in the Fiala trade, and he ended up doing some solid things for us. He scored 24 points, 10 goals, and 14 assists in 54 games. 50, 24 points in 54 games with Starfleet. And in the playoffs, he scored 12 points in 29 games and got a Stanley Cup ring last season. Drew Doughty... Spent his entire career with the Kings, came to San Francisco as a cap dump, wasn't getting ice time, retires with 767 points in 1,320 games. Anyone else retiring who I uh, see? Mark Giordano. So they all retired. Giordano at the age of 44, 642 points in his career. So they all retired. Former Starfleet officer John Klingberg. <laughs> Klingon. <laughs> didn't, or, did Orlov? No, Orlov didn't play with us. Wow. Quite a retirement class here. As we have one, five retiring players. Quite a retirement class. For the goaltenders retiring this season, Martin Jones, Grubauer, Kincaid, etc. Alright, so there's the retirement class for 2028. Uh, Crosby and Zuccarello now coaches. So yeah, we're definitely getting Crosby. If you're still following the NHL 23 Penguin series in the Discord server... Sidney Crosby is our head coach with the Penguins, and he's been incredible. Ever since he retired, he was our head coach, I believe. And he's been, at least in our coaching staff, and he's been incredible. San Francisco, no retirements there for the coaches. Good, but we're definitely going to get Crosby as a coach in our squad. Uh, we'll do, let's do a couple draft interviews here, just quickly. Our scouting should be decent enough, hopefully. How do the late picks look? Uh, yeah, different depth options for next year, plus Crosby replacement. If we're picking late, anyone who interests us back here? Eesh. Probably not so much. Trade up, maybe, for this guy? Alan Iliakis. Nice Greek player. But we want to look at the nationalities, right? Let's do an interview with Eliakis. But I want to look at players who are off the board as well. Give me your skills, give me your play style, give me your ETA. That's all I want. Give me your strengths. These interviews take so long. New topic. Let's change the subject. Okay, I like new topics. Can I know your play style? My play style is X, Y, and Z. Okay, thank you. Can we play a new topic? Readiness, all that. That's all I want. Uh, still a few years away, and his play style is what? Shots the best at. Thank you. Bye bye. What's that noise? Was there a speaking coming from the... Did I not hear that? So I'm, I'm hallucinating. So we know he's a sniper. We don't know anything else about him. It's an NHL ETA we got at three years. Um, okay, so nationality is what we're looking at here. Top 6D. Those interviews. This guy, medium 7D. I, someone with a good nationality who also has maybe two bars of, a, of an interesting potential. No. Top 9... Ukrainian low top 4D Bobkov will want him. 
Kern? Let's go with Kern, maybe? Damon Kern? Yeah, what's this noise? What? I'm here. Hold on. Let me put up the volume really loud. What's this? Rump. Rump. What's that? Never heard that before. Okay. Uh, play stuff. We'll finish this up in just a little bit. I know it's uh, the playoff stream. We're at, what, two and a half hours? So we'll finish it up before the three hours. That's for sure. We'll just finish off our last thoughts for the off season, And then we'll get ready for next week's stream, which is actually going to be in a few days' time on Thursday. This is from Saturday to Thursday. So it's instead of a week between episodes, it'll just be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, in five evenings from now. We learn anything about Damon Kern. Uh, and it brings us all the way back to the bottom. Great. Anybody else who's at the top here? Russian right winger. Yeah, streaky mile for Starfleet. NHL ready. Timofey Spruev. NHL ready. But at two bars elite, we, we can't learn anything more about him. We already know everything that we could learn from an interview. Interesting. Lead three years. Anybody else with uh, ETAs that interest us? All two, three years away. No, nothing, eh? But Timo Fey really, uh, really intrigues me, I have to say. NHL, three years away, NHL, NHL, NHL. Of all the players out here, yeah, both these guys, Todd Rammer and Timo Fey Spruev, both NHL ready, according to the game here. And even Walton, one year away. Yeah, you know what, RJ? I thought I saw NHL ready as well. And I, I just kept going, but I thought I saw it for a half, for a flash of a second. Yeah, okay, Benjamin Crowder. Benjamin, let's, let's learn about him. Yes, I thought maybe, but I said, I, 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 against my better judgment, I said I didn't think so, but yes. Uh, strengths. Blum. Borg. Borg. Benjamin Crowder. Um, relative, distant relative of NHL 19... Data 72 Hall of Fame nominee, Brooklyn Bellow legend, Sheldon Crowder? If you know, you know. What did we learn from this interview? One year away, skating, blah, blah, blah. He's a two-way forward. Yeah, we learned he's a two-way forward. Benjamin Crowder, NHL ready. Yeah, one year away. Not actually NHL ready. The one year away. Benjamin Crowder. Pacarina would have been interesting. He's always three years away. Okay, so we did. there's our interviews. Uh, that's good. Pro Scout, blah, blah, blah. Here we are at the draft. Okay, so here we are at the draft. Let's quickly look at let's see, the few few little wrap-up things. Progress reports, contracts, blah, blah, blah. Okay, Panarin's uh, at a 91. McIntyre at an 88. Lysel, 83. Hudson, 86. Stenberg up to an 82. You'd think that he's a third liner next year. Keep that in mind. Girard up to an 87 adds the trade value if we're looking to make a trade into the top 10 or 15. Moore, 86. Same thing. Fiala, 89. Love it. Guliev, 82. Love it. Hellenius, 80. He's, so the third line next year you would think is Hellenius, Stenberg, and who? Lindholm. I don't, does Beck stay on that line? I don't know. I don't know. Pesci also likely gone. Uh, in the system, Nestorov, Pruka, Jalen Wall, Marchand. He was one of our top picks last season. Jaredev, the medium goalie. Emelin, 75. Good. Knight 75. Mikula 80, of course, if you know that. Set it up to a 68. 30 points in the AHL. Not bad. Haikila. Haikila might push for the NHL also. So we might be seeing he's finished as well. So Haikila, Hellenius, and Stenberg all might be wanting third line minutes next year, which you would think would work, but that's two fins. So one third, one fourth line. Or one go to the second line? I don't know. We have a lot of money to play with as well here, looking at all expiring. For example, do we bring Panarin back for another one-year deal? One-year, nine million type of thing? We have over 27 million to spend. Trevor Moore would be wanting, yeah, big money into the six millions, but 85% would be less. Guliev, we can do a two-year bridge on him maybe, or just qualify him and get him for long-term cheaper. Otto Stenberg got an 82 overall. Nice cheap deal for him. We could even do three. You do three years of RFA for Lindbergh, maybe a little bridge. Oh, and Ryan Rubik, don't forget him. Ben Benjamin Crowder, son of Sean Crowder, stuntman in, in Star Trek Enterprise, amazing. 
That's true. We need Ryan Rubric in here as well. So guaranteed, Rubric, Hellenius, Stenberg, and you would think hopefully Haikila. Those are all like top nine forwards. Rubric might even be a second liner next year. So there's another Canadian. So yeah, we've got to start really being careful with the lineup here. Rubric is in the lineup next year. Do not forget to calculate for him when you start thinking about your lineups. For the goalies, Kosa, do we bring back Greaves? Who's our, what's our tandem next year? Greaves Mikola or Kosa Mikola? Right? Zherdev, no, and we'll sign Galvis to play with Eminen, I suppose. So we're to think about that. So right now, before we look even at potential free agents, if Panarin comes back, first line, just throwing it out there, top six, let's say, Lindholm, Panarin, Fiala, McIntyre, Perfetti, Rubric, that's our top six. Third line, Lysel, Stenberg at center, and Hellenius. Then fourth line, Afanasev, Beck, and Haikila. That's actually not bad, but that's with Panarin coming back. That's not bad, though. Defense is where we see more of a shakeup, probably, where the first pair is probably Hudson and maybe a new first pair right D to play with Hudson. Second pair, Ramirez and Guliev. Then, I don't know, maybe Romanov moves up, but Pesci and Gerard both likely out. Gerard's been good, but Hudson's taking his spot, and there's been a couple of times where we haven't been happy with him. He's you know, he's still a 50-point guy, which is a 50-60-point guy even, which is good, but it's more of a storyline thing almost at this point. Uh, pending free agents, potential pending free agents. After the Justin Hall experience there. Rubrik's a sniper, I believe, yeah. So Kutrov could be back in free agency. We could look at Kutrov on a one-year deal. He just had what kind of year here? 51 goals and 50, uh, 103 points. He went to free agency. He signed back with Tampa for one more year. Now he wants to go to free agency again, potentially. Jason Robertson, who we thought about at the trade deadline, could be on the, on the the in the free agency pool. Artemi Panarin, of course. Cole Hanhorn, those are the UFAs. Sorry, just the UFAs. Nico Hishir, Thomas Shabbat. Barbashev, Sprung, Kaliev. Just looking at Ovechkin there at 42. He's playing. He hasn't retired yet. Ovechkin could be a veteran move. Mikhaev, Barbanov, Michelli. Down the list we go. Tyler Toffoli. Down the list we go. If anybody catches your eye. And for defense, especially de right defense. Oof. No one. White Cloud, the only name out here on the right defense. So it like, it would, if we pick up a right D, maybe it's through trade. There are some good defense out here, but all of that left side. Any right-handed ones? Who could play both sides? It doesn't really exist, eh? Is it exist, but No, probably not. And for goalies who are who might be in free agency, Vasilevsky might be there. But his numbers aren't even that good in franchise mode. That's the thing. That's a real vanity overall. So I don't know about um, Shabbat. No, the thing is, Hudson probably race, replaces Gerard uh, Hobbsy. That's the thing. Uh, Jerry, not even that good. The numbers aren't that great. Camesso, Vanacek, Swayman. These are tough numbers. Yikes. These are like 900 guys. Bidding to nine. Yeah, we're probably go we're going to roll with our guys. Just who are those guys? That's the question. We'll roll with our guys, but who are those guys? Two of the three that we have right now. So we can think about trading for rights and stuff like that. It's always an idea. If we want to trade for a right D, just to quickly show you the right D who are out there in the NHL. If we look at all right-handed D, sorting by overall, not caring who's who, just looking at that. Um, Greaves up and down, Mikola, I want to answer. Yeah, Mikola is definitely, it's Mikola and someone. It's Mikola and Graves, Greaves, or Mikola and uh, Kosa. So here's the right-hand D market. Could we find a deal with the Islanders for Dobson? That would be crazy. Dougie Hamilton... But these guys are on extensions. No, okay, they're on extensions. That's why they're not in the free agency pool. Yeah, so forget guys who have one year left. They don't really have one year left. Scrolling down the list here. Does Maurice Sider have an extension in place? One year extension in place. Um, Levshinov. Just showing you there. Just a quick little look. David Reinbacher. No extension in yet for him. That Elon defenseman, who are you thinking? 
Oh, this guy, yeah. Medium franchise. He was the first overall pick, no? Passy? Yeah, Passy Elin. First overall pick in 2025. 90 overall now. Two-way D. Yep. So there are the right Ds who are out there. We looked at the uh, potential uh, candidates in free agency as well. Just one last thing before we look at the draft class would be the draft... Uh, the trading block, excuse me. Just to show you the value that we have to move around if we want to move any of our value. If we're looking to make a trade, here's the value that players have. Rubrique yeah, is a sniper. So here's Gerard, especially... Marchand, one of those goalies, uh, the defenseman. He's on that right side. Cam Marchant, Marchand, whatever you want to call him. Seventh overall pick in last year's draft. So he's going to be one of our guys for the future on the right side. Here's Pesci's value. Even Moogly wants to be in the NHL. Yeah, you know what? Moogly could be third pair right D. Now. I think he has to be. Leon Moogly has to be in the NHL next season on the third pair, left or right. So keep that in consideration as well. The defense would be... Guaranteed defense next season are Hudson, Ramirez, probably Romanov, Guliev, and Mugli. So that just leaves one spot. It would be Girard and Pesci out and one coming back in. That would probably be it. Costa has good value too if we were to trade him. Mugli as a Swiss defenseman also helps. Draft picks. We can't really see a good uh, look right here. If we look at the draft board though. Draft board... We have no first. That's where we traded our first for, for Sidney Crosby. So we have our we have our a late second, a late third, a late fourth, early second, early sixth, a late sixth. So late picks in the second, third, fourth, and sixth round, and an early sixth. So we have to be making trades if we want to get any prospects out here. Absolutely, that late second is not going to do much for us. So again, just looking one last time at the draft class, we definitely like that that um, that NHL ready these NHL get ready guys. Rammer. C minus stats look like that. Spruev, A plus league stats look like that. A NHL ready. Uh, maybe A plus puck skills, A plus shooting from Rammer potentially, but two way forward and playmaker, so yeah, not snipers, but right wing Russian is definitely more valuable. Uh, I don't know if we really want to trade up for any of these mid first round pick kind of guys. Later on, medium top four D Pivko helps with him being a check. Yeah, as a Russian, it would help. If we were to get somebody, it would be him. Uh, Jem Holt. Eh. Bobkov, low top 4D Ukrainian. We'll definitely draft Yuri Bobkov. Three bar medium elite Ed Riddle. But he's 20 years old, three years away. I don't know. NHLer. Sounds like uh, like Ramjasing, the EA developer. Gerard has been with us since the start. We really need to get rid of him. I think he's earned his stripes at least. He hasn't. I wouldn't say he's. The big thing is that Cole Hudson moving in needs to have his spot pretty much. And on the left, unless we move one of them to the right, we can't have Gerard, Ramirez, and uh, Hudson as one, two, three because we can't have Hudson playing third pair. He needs to play top four. That's the thing. And Hudson and Gerard's had a couple of bad plus minus post seasons. He's had a couple of not bad seasons but down seasons as well compared to what he was doing in the start. I'd prefer to keep him, but I just don't think the fit is there. Unless we put him on the right side, or someone else on the right side. Maybe with a, a, a weak market, we say one more season, and we try him on the right. Maybe. I don't know. Manuel Per, Pare, to our medium elite. Yeah, okay, so just any other nationalities that jump out at me? Medium top six Swiss player, Jordan Morales. Yeah, we'll definitely look at probably getting him. Um, this guy, this Polish player, no, Pol what am I saying? Um, wait, I, no, I'm right, Is, aren't I? Salvador Rogers, gr a gr a grinder? Not Austrian, yeah, it is Polish, isn't it? Salvador Rogers, low top six, yeah, we'll definitely look at getting him. Unless it's Austrian, but I think it's Polish. It's one of those two. Someone's going to say it very soon in the chat here. Three bar medium league goalie Dwayne Willis, who's uh, from Norway. That would be helpful. It's easier with the goalies, but yeah. Hungarian backup goalie Lance Stock. Grew up in a Polish town my entire life. Never once met a Salvador Rogers. <laughs> that was the Polish flag, though, right? Low elite, low elite. Okay, I'm scrolling pretty far now. A lot of two-bar low elites. I'm just looking for the nationalities, pretty much. Maybe it jumps out at me. Um, yeah, Belarusian, two-bar medium elite, maybe. 
Because I think he's about the only guy we have left in the original team. No, for the original team, we'd still have Lindholm. We still have Moore as of now. We still have Pesci as of now. So if we move Pesci and and Moore, our originals next year would be Gerard, Lindholm, uh, Lysel technically as a prospect. Polska, there you go. I got it right. Thank you. Um, technically, Guliev as a prospect too. Pesci came pretty... Didn't Wasn't Pesci an original? But he, oh, we just said he's out. Yeah, we're moving into our sixth season, right? So sorting by potential, a few three-bar medium leaders. Uh, any guaranteed lower leaders? A lot of one bars. We know not a lot. That's I hate auto scouting. And we look at the nationalities out here. Look at uh, some Russia. Usually it's some Estonian two-bar medium elite. We got Bobkov, who was the Ukrainian. What in Dell? Germans, Hungarians. Yeah, not a great year for the nationalities. Thankfully, we don't have a, you know, it's not like we have a ton of picks and we're saying, ah, we were taking a lot of shots in the dark. We don't have a lot of picks anyways. We can trade up for the guys that we want and make it a more of a quality over quantity draft. Uh, but we'll see. So, ladies and gentlemen, that just about does it. Thank you for your time here this evening. It was a great postseason. It was a fun time. Our third consecutive run to the Stanley Cup final. What a, That's really something to say as a team in its fifth season. Um, it's sad to have so many veterans be gone now, but we're going to try to stay as strong as possible. And what exactly will be our plan? That's a great question. What exactly will be our plan for the postseason? Do we want to say, let the young guys come into that top six, top nine? Are we looking to make a splash in free agency? Who's moving out through the trades? And our next stream's on Thursday night, so make sure to get your thoughts in down here in the comments on YouTube or over on the Discord server. Link in the description. Thank you very much for being here, ladies and gentlemen. Leave a like if you haven't already. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. If you're here and you're not subscribed, come on, we want to have you join the team now. You'll be notified for when we go live for our MLB The Show 24 franchise coming soon, as well as our um, Starfleet series continuing. Dan, thanks for a great stream. Thanks. It was my first full postseason episode. Great, Dan, with the wine, the Saturday nights. What a night for Dan. Love it. This is uh, the summer of Dan, as Dan O'Toole used to say in T on TSN. Warmaster, can I ask you some draft scouting questions in Discord? Absolutely. Great stream, Data. Thank you, Joe. Good night, Data. Good night, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Live long and prosper, RJ. Thanks, everybody. We'll be back on Thursday evening. Thursday, March... 14th? Yes, Thursday, March 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern for the 2028 off draft and off season. Thanks, everybody. Much love to you, to you all. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Live long and prosper. What a team. Let's figure it out in the off season and come back as strong as possible for year number six. Yeah, everybody.